It is. Excellent. Well, well said. Well said. Yeah. Our regular penis sayer will be here soon. He will. It's true. And I need to update the lower third because I haven't done that yet. I'm, as you all can tell, I am behind tonight. I've got a lot going <laughs> on. Behind is like a butt. Yes, that's that's correct. Hi, Batsy. Hi, Batsy. Hiltzy, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Alka, good to see you, pal. Alka's one of the gremlins we uh, we finally got to meet at TwitchCon. He's uh, he's good dude, and he's very active in the uh, the Twitch third party developer community. He knows many many things, and he's developed several things like InBedBot, which is oh. one of his greatest creations. Okay. Honestly, Alka, top notch work, pal. Um. So. So give me just a sec. Uh, <gasps> hey, that's a Sydney. You oh some, man! Having an I haven't Sydney. seen a Sydney in the longest time. I haven't seen Sydney in like a week and a half. Well, what day? What was what was that? Wednesday? Maybe? I think it was. Yeah, it was Wednesday because that's when that's when uh, me and the wee toddler niece and Loaf were all hanging out that afternoon and just doing, you know doing creature stuff because we're creatures right you're alive kinda that's fair that's fair <gasps> yeah, it's oh my as good as it gets for me that's that's a jonas jonas i haven't seen you in about 84 years hi buddy i miss you like tremendously um and ribs oh ribs batsy fuck yes ribs all right i All right, I'm just going to change this to just chatting down in the, the lower third because I can't think of anything better to put there right now. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, well, uh, in a dog's age. That's, it's true. It's true. Uh, okay, let me, let me do something real quick. Okay, just to make sure that we reconnect, everything's good. Um, I swapped everything back for the retro stuff. Which I really need to to put a button in for that. Hey, look, this guy's here. Hi, this guy. And I'm here too, guys. He's, he's here too. Yeah. Well, I was like, I'm on my way. I'm doing chores. I forgot you're streaming tonight. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. You okay? You good? Oh uh, yeah. All right. You sure? Roomba gets stuck, so I had to like run across the house and unstick Roomba. Yeah, you gotta be sure Roomba's okay. Take care. Which Roomba it was? Was it basic bitch? No, With it was Carl. Carl. Here, I'm going to go ahead and kill the music. Carl, not Roomba. I know, Flamingo. I know. Not Roomby. We love Roomby. We 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 stan Roomby in this house or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, hey. Hi, everybody. Um, so um today is it's friday and i don't normally do a friday stream but um i didn't do except one when you do except when i do that's correct that's, thank you tom for always mm -hmm. taking when care of that, that force. happen no one Hope knows this helps. it's half the fun <laughs> thanks thanks chip uh oh i'm so glad it's friday tomorrow we're gonna go speaking of sydney we're gonna go uh see sydney and the wee toddler niece and and the rest of of the fam um Thank Gordon Freeman. It's Friday. Nice, nice. I I'm pretty sure Alka just confirmed Half Life Three. Thanks, Alka. Well done. Um, you can be praised. And when you do do one, it fucks everyone up. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm here for, Flamingo. I'm here to fuck everything up. Uh, she said doo doo. <laughs> she she did in fact say doo doo. It's true. She did. Um, <clears throat> that's thanks. Thanks once again. Thanks, Chip. Appreciate that. Um. So hey, um, I know it's been a hot minute since we've all kind of sat down and just talked about stuff and things. Um, but I thought tonight would be a really good night to do that, and we'll eventually get to something else later. I'm, I'm debating whether to do a game or whether to fuck with the sidebar over here. I haven't decided yet. Um, because I've redone everything else in my goddamn stream so far to be 
a fucking web page that does web pagey shit. Why not the fucking sidebar? Hell, the, the retro countdown's interactive now. There's a coin and a life counter, and we can just fuck with it all day. It's great. All day? All, all day. All day. All day. Tahar, welcome in. Welcome in. Code. See? See? I told you. Aka's going to want me to code. That's what he wants. That's all he ever wants is just people to code. In fairness, he's also, he does the codes. He's very good at it. Um, anyway, so, so it's been a while since we've sat down and just talked about stuff. I would like to do some of that tonight. Um, and I need input from you all. Um, I know there was a survey I put in the discord a few weeks ago just to get some feedback from everybody. Um, got some really good feedback, some things that, um, I would like to action on some things that I'm, I don't think I will be able to just because of the nature of it. Um, but I would like to talk about just stuff in general um, and kind of get y'all's feedback for the future of stuff that we do here, right? Um, so that's, that's one thing. Um, but also, I do have an announcement that I would like to make. Um, so... Mazel tov. You know, you could just not tell everybody that I'm preggers before I tell them that I'm preggers. Yeah. Right, that's what can you do. Yeah. It's a uh, What is it? A never ending pasta bowl? No, no, it's <laughs> a uh, it's a uh, country fried steak breakfast from <laughs> from the place with the waffle tower. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Waffle Tower. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Listen, next time you're down here, we're we're gonna we're gonna have a family trip to the Waffle Tower place. I'm gonna have potatoes with can my. I, you you can have. I had potatoes today because I didn't want you to bitch about me not having potatoes with my breakfast. I'm sorry that I want the best for you. Yeah, I'm I'm sure you do. Yeah, I mean, what do you think fries are made of? I mean, fine. I guess that's fair. Fries are made from potatoes. We yeah, that's. I guess that's how that's how potatoes work. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, all right. So here's the here's the deal, right? Um, Ellie had double potato dinner, and you're oh oh. See, this kid's going places, Tom. Do you see why I love this kid so much? This kid that's, is that's good stuff. This kid is great. I mean, honestly, I think that's what I like to hear. A lot of it comes down to just excellent parenting, but you know, it is. I, I I like to have my influence as well, which is why uh, she had uh, several hot dogs for dinner the other day, and I'm still just silently Pretty. weeping tears of joy of that. Um, anyway, uh, so we haven't talked about it in a hot minute, but um, live space. So I did an interview with Alyssa Sweetman. She's their head of community. And uh, I did a couple of streams over there just to test out the platform and see how it is. Um, they've made a ton of updates since then. Yes, they now have dark mode. Um, they are working on their mobile app to re be released in the first quarter of, of next year. Um, they've done an overhaul on the website. They've done a lot of stuff. And one of the things that we had talked about in the interview with Alyssa was um, this LiveSpace Boost program that they, um, they were taking applications for. They actually extended out the application period. Uh, I forget when it ends now, but I think it is still open for the next couple of weeks at least. Um, again, I, <laughs> I forget exactly how long it's open. Anyway. Every time you say boost, I keep waiting for John Cena to write in on account. <laughs> boost. <Yeah. laughs> Why did I know that's where you were going with that? <laughs> um, so... Um, I applied because what the hell, why not? Um, and I got the email, uh, was it yesterday? It was, yeah, it was yesterday. I got the email that I have been accepted to the live space boost program, um, where I will get a hundred percent revenue split minus like processing fees, um, for the next year, starting on December 1st. Yeah. 
That's the Final Fantasy VI one. How does it always know? You're welcome. It always knows. It always knows. So, um, with Twitch's new rules about simulcasting and it being allowed, uh, I will start simulcasting to both Twitch and LiveSpace. Um, <clears throat> I know there's going to be some growing pains involved with that. Um, I know there's also... We have started laying the groundwork for the next version of Firebot, which will let us have on the backside, um, have Firebot be able to merge. <laughs> backside. You sons of God. <laughs> we will it. never let you ever have a serious conversation. I know. Ever. I know. I know. This is why I can't have nice things. Among many reasons. You were like, oh, this might be the day. Nope. No. Nope. Anyway, um, so we are laying the groundwork for the next version of Firebot to be able to um, display to the broadcaster, merge chats, and multiple uh, streaming service support. Um, that That's fair, Flamingo. That's I, That one's on me. Um, but uh, so it's going to be, there's going to be, again, more growing pains around that. But uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm really, really excited. Um uh, oh, I'm not streaming on it right now, so fuck them. They can't. No one can get mad at me for it. Do I have. I don't think I have a command for it. No. Okay, then fuck it. Working out combining YouTube with Twitch chat. Nice. Uh, hey, Alka, let me know when the YouTube chat API isn't an, a dumpster pyre, fire pile of shit, because it's the worst. It's the actual worst. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it'll, yeah, you, you're not fucking wrong, pal. Anyway, um, so it'll happen when there's a monetary reason to Google for it to happen. You say that, but uh, they already have ways that they're monetizing chat. They could add third-party support to where they could get more money, and yet they're not. You have to. You have to sign in. Alka, you have to sign in first. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is it? Yeah, you got to sign in. Um, but that's the URL. Oh, the second time around it worked nice. Um, that's the URL to my uh, profile on LiveSpace. Um, I am working on some more content with them. Um, probably going to be first of the year. So just after the new year. Um, hi, Mags. Uh, so I'm I'm really excited about that. Everyday hustling. <gasps> Tawny! Tawny, aren't you... Tawny, wait. I guess it's Friday. Tawny, are you still in Chicago? Tawny, thank you for 26 months, pal. I love you so much. I'm I'm glad that you were there this week. You replicated that behavior in incognito? Okay. Um, I will try to remember that and let them know. Alka. Because they're, they're pushing new code to that website like at least at least weekly um you're still in chicago okay okay cool i thought yeah. you might still be um I have, a, I have a chicago related skeet that's doing numbers today nice nice waiting for me at a concert tani first of all what concert second of all go attend your concert i love you Wait, is it chicago that would be that would be like uh, like yo dog, I heard I heard you like Chicago, <laughs> so we put Chicago in your Chicago, so you can enjoy Chicago while you enjoy Chicago. Yeah. Um, I just announced I just announced it, uh, Tani. Um, I've been accepted to the Live Space Boost program. Um, I will start simulcasting there soon. Um, the program starts on December first, where I will get a hundred percent revenue split for all of my subscriptions that I get there, minus processing fees for 12 months. Um, there are a couple of minimums that I do have to meet, um, but with Twitch being a little more lenient about simulcasting, I will start simulcasting there. Um, so I'll probably set that up next week. Um, I've got some stuff in place now, but I haven't given it like an actual test. Um, so of, of the actual simulcast. So we'll We'll get there. I've got the bandwidth to support it, which is nice because um, I've got a good fiber connection here at the house, and I'm I'm all wired in up here. 
so uh it should be good uh can you join as a viewer yes you can absolutely join as a viewer um if you just go to live.space there's a link in the chat you can sign up for your account there um it is in open beta so they are doing all kinds of updates to this thing like weekly uh the other thing is live space has while live streaming is going to be a big focus of it they do have some stuff that's um, like Patreon or coffee where, um, they'll have like an, uh, a social feed and you can do subscriber only posts and things like that. I would like to start utilizing that more there as well. So if you would, please, please follow me over on live space. Um, I am going to start doing that. Like I said, um, here in the next couple of weeks doing simulcasting, um, and, uh, I'm I'm really excited to get going with it. A um, little nervous, new platform, stuff like that. But uh, I think it'll be a really good thing. And this is a great opportunity for me. So um, I I wouldn't have done this without, you know, all of y'all being here to to kind of help push along the way and, and showing your support and showing up, um, which means more to me than, than I could ever explain. So thank you all so very, very much for being here. Um, it means a lot. Um, other things. Uh, we are over 900 followers over here on the Twitch side of the world. Uh, showing up couldn't be, couldn't be you. Perny would never show up. Did you, Tom, did you even, did you even know that Pernt shows up to things? Um, no. I'll do you one well, better. Why well, is Pernt showing up? Why well, is Pernt showing up? That's weird. This isn't YouTube. Why is she? Oh, it's okay. She's not a moderator, so she could show up here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just the fact that just as as a fucking for the lulls, Tug made her a goddamn moderator on his YouTube channel. Just, of course, of a fucking now, course. Well, in fairness, Pernt has done the moderations before. She has. It's true. She has. She d she does have experience. She has She's moderated. An experienced in the moderator. Experience. He's such an asshole. He, and yet you you asked him to be a moderator for him, and you show up there every day every day that he streams. Yeah, I don't know if she expected him to call her bluff like that. I mean, for the memes, do moderators have any power on YouTube? They actually do. They actually do have some power. Uh, it's not as fine grained, I think, as it is on Twitch, but you know. Live streaming is like the second tier to the, you know, the, the produced content on YouTube. Um, moderators are captive audience. Yes. Captive in so much as they are being held against their will and they are not allowed to leave Isn't that right boys. I can leave. If, I can leave whenever I want. I just don't want to. It's just don't want. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Allegedly I can leave mods or hostages. You can leave if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because if they don't leave, yeah, if they don't leave, then they're no friends of mine. Something like that, yeah. I'm gonna block Tug from his own channel. <laughs> Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh, uh, al al allegedly, <laughs> mods are trained to say they can't. Leave. They can leave when they want to. Yes, they're trained to say that. Yes, yes. That's that's why I yes. feed them. We've done. Yeah, we've yeah. done that whole feed where we like that whole meme where we like walk towards the camera and either go left or right based upon whether we're like on the go to the left if we're allowed to leave, go to the right if we if we are forced to stay, like do one of those and we always go allowed to leave and then it pans over to the camera and it's just loaf holding a gun pointing towards <laughs> to leave whatever we want. <laughs> no, there's no it's it's listen, there are there there are there are two options, right? There's a door to leave. And then there is a table, and on the table, there is a plate of potatoes and a plate of chicken and rice. And I know, I know how to keep these two around. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm staying for that chicken and rice. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have contracts? Oh. Uh, imagine, imagine having contracts. Um, well, I guess I'm technically about to have one because of live space. That's why I'm wearing my live space shirt tonight, you see. Down. There you go. So, Stop it. is Bowser being a dog? No. 
Yes. Oh yeah, he's a good boy. He's, he's a very he's good boy. Rough. Oh, I love when he does that. He likes to do that when I come over, but mostly the the tail wags and the jumping on me. God damn it, Carl! I'll be right back. Okay. It's a sh you didn't want to be mon. Well, you asked to be one, so fuck you. I guess <laughs> that's what you get for asking for the thing that you don't want. Hey, remember when you didn't want a thing and then you asked for it and then you got the thing and then you got pissed because you get, you got the thing that you asked for even though you didn't want it? Those were good times, Perny. Those were good times. You have never modded for reasons. In fairness, Mags, I understand. I understand. That's that's a job. Like, except for these two. These, like, these two and Viv, like, those three fuckers, they don't, they don't, they don't do anything. They don't have to do anything here. They just show up and abuse me. And that's basically what they're, you know, they get their rocks off on it and they enjoy it. And, you know, good for them. You guys have jobs, right? See, Betsy gets it. Um, great way to stay in shape. <laughs> God. I Okay, Pern, it doesn't matter why you asked. You asked for a thing and then you got mad when you got the thing. That's like going to a restaurant and ordering the chicken. It's like, God damn it, I didn't want chicken. I wanted steak. Then why did you order the chicken? Oh, now you sound a lot like our customers. <laughs> you sound a lot like everyone's customers. Go go be super stoned to play Valheim. We love you, Perny. <laughs> Hell yeah, Pern. Pern is Pern is Pern is a mile high in the mile high city. Ow, chica. Wow, 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 wow! You're still a mod, but only in spirit now. Oh, I know, Tawny. I know, buddy. I, I understand this feel all too well. Understand all too too well. Ah, uh, but yeah. So I'm super excited about that. Um, it's gonna mean you know again. It's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment because it's it's gonna be confusing. Um, cause there are going to be two chats going, which is fine. I'm, you know, I'm not upset about, I just, it's going to be confusing, which is the way it is. It just is what it is. Um, the, the stuff that I'm going to be talking about with the team there, like I said, it's going to be probably first of the year. It's actually going to be on their channel the official live space channel on live space. So, Oh no, no part. You want a fucking sword? Do you want a sword? I'll do it. So help me God. I'll fucking do it. Then don't ask for it. You nerd. Oh boy. Oh, that's a good sword. I like that sword. That's a good one, Alka. Um, Alka has several swords, but in fairness, he he does all all of the things and the stuff. So you know, it makes a lot of sense for him to have them. Bye, Tani. Enjoy your concert. Say hi to Chicago. Say hi to Chicago. Bye, Perny. We love you. <laughs> Um, the part in Mass Effect where Rex says, "If I die down here, I'll kill him." That's, yeah. Is that is that how it is with the two of you? Is it if 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 we die down here, you'll kill me? Yes. Okay, that's fair. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, yeah, I'm really tempted to do something with this fucking sidebar over here. It's it's nice, it's fine, but god damn it, I want to do something with it. We'll figure it out. You put it in your butt. I don't need a sidebar in my butt. What am I what am I going to do with what am I going to do with it there? I don't know, that's not really for me to find out. I mean, all right, I guess that's a fair point. That's that's fair. Um so yeah, so really excited about the live space stuff. Um, so let's let's talk for a minute because I'm I'm trying to come up with ideas here, but I want to know what you all want because really, like the benefits are for you. So what I really really want. 
Yeah, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Taters. You always want taters. Zig zig. Well, then why'd you ask? Oh my god. Um. Oh, another thing, another thing. Uh, I know I touched on it briefly, <laughs> but uh, I wonder if I can... It's so difficult to, like, show the... It's so difficult to show the... Um... I can't, well, I, can't, I don't want to, I don't want to fuck with the camera, because as soon as I touch it, it's going to go just fucking berserk anyway um i know i talked about it the other day but uh, i got an extended arm i got another arm for my mount where i have mm. both the the light and the camera here um and i'm getting ready to do a uh um I, I want to do like creative stuff. I really, I'm okay. This is nine's fault. We're going to just go ahead and blame nine. All right. We're going to blame nine right now. I'm pushing the button and we're blaming nine because and we're going to blame nine and not your upbringing. Yes. That's, I mean, she's Twitch mom, so it's kind of the same thing, right? Sure. Sure. Okay. We're going to, we're going to blame nine. <clears throat> um, First of all, Nine, uh, she's a fiber artist. Uh, she's Twitch mom. Her streams are uh, very high energy, typically. Um, and she is just an absolute goddamn delight. Also, she plays a mean game of Fortnite on the occasion that she does play it. Holy shit, that woman has literally carried us through the storm across the island. Um, so, yeah, but she, she does... She does the crochets and the knits and the things like that. She's just, I fucking love Nine. Um, I spent a lot of time with her at TwitchCon a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. Also, she gave me she gave me one of her balls. Like, it's a nice ball. She, she has nice balls. So I'm really happy with it. <clears throat> but... Uh, I've been talking and thinking about this for a while, and now with all the fiber artists that I know in Makers and Crafting, that whole goddamn category, they're actually really great, like all of them. Um, and this, uh, ah, sorry, uh, I'm thinking about starting to uh, to learn how to crochet because she 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 makes these just. She had like a whole pile yesterday and someone was like, didn't you give those away at TwitchCon? She's like, these are the ones I've made since I got back from TwitchCon. I gave all of those away. These are new. So uh, what I would like to do is I would like to learn how to crochet so that I can make a set of these. So like I could start and work on an actual like Pokeball and then I could work on other ones like Great Balls, Ultra Balls, a Master Ball, maybe things like a Love Ball. A dusk ball would be really cool, and I think I think that's the dusk ball to me is just the coolest looking pokeball. Anyway, all the balls, just I want I want all of the balls. I would like like a little shelf up here, just with all of the balls that I have. So just put all the balls on the wall, just balls to the wall right there, or something. I don't know, mm -hmm. but I have this whole like big. So the way this room is set up. <clears throat> The ceiling arches up, and so, because um, this is the exterior wall here, and this is where the roof peaks just, like, through here, and the ceilings are vaulted, they're arched up in um, the bedrooms, um, so and this is this is one of our bedrooms here, obviously, so what I would like to do is, is utilize some of this space on the wall and just put, like, shelving and have stuff up there so I can see more stuff, and have less shit, you know, just sitting around and also on the floor and all that. But, um, you know, just like put all this stuff up here and, you know, show off some of my handiwork and stuff too. Crochet makes quantum mechanics look easy. It's witchcraft. It is witchcraft. Fiber art in general is witchcraft. Uh, 
But Batsy, I already put stuff over towards the window. Now I got to put it. I put it to the window. Now I have to put it to the wall. That's how it works. Uh, also, we have an ad coming up in about two minutes. Um, ah, eh, screw it. I can snooze one. Snoozed. Snooze the ads for a few minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to get a camera for up here, uh, so that I can do that. Um, I am actually starting a, uh, a new sub goal. There we go. Oh, yep. Um, so I have a new sub goal, um, where I have, uh, I would like to get 20 new subs. I think that should get most of what I need for, uh, the camera, at least a good chunk of it. Cause what I would, I'll probably end up doing is getting a used, um, Brio, which is what I have here and put up here for the time being. Cause I'm not, I'm not to the point to where I'm going to get like, if I'm going to get anything higher than a Brio, I might as well just wait and save up the money and get a fucking I save up and get like a like a nice mirrorless camera or even an older DSLR and put on like a tripod or some shit and then do that into the machine. Best thing you ever did was put a camera on a cheap mic stand. Yeah, that could work too. Also, hi, Nervous. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um, get a fucking duck. I have a duck. I have, it's right here. I have a duck. It's literally right the fuck here. And if I need another duck, I have another duck right here. I have a little duck. Look, and it says, it even says, quacktastic. Okay? I have. It's, it's not about the size of the duck. It's how you use it. I have two ducks. Two. For God's sake, Viv, what kind of amateur do you take me for? Actually, he's he told you to get a very specific kind of duck. He's right here. I've got him too. Very specific. Viv Fox. I know this. <clears throat> um two is good, but what about three ducks? <laughs> that's what what do i look like a pond if i want more yes. than two ducks there is actually a retention pond by our house so we could do that this is florida there are retention ponds everywhere um thank you alka thank you i appreciate it uh fritz you did so um for those of you who are coming in um and didn't hear the announcement earlier uh, I got accepted into the Live Space Boost program starting on December 1st, going for 12 months, uh, where I will get 100% of all of my sub revenue, revenue uh, minus processing fees um, for a year. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, <gasps> hi, Toya. Uh, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I'm going to start simulcasting to both here and live space. I'm going to get that set up and, and working here in the next couple of weeks. So really, really excited to get that going. I've got some stuff coming up with that group um, where I will be uh, talking on the official live space channel with the uh, couple of the creators, a uh, couple of the founders uh, doing some, a little bit of a technical deep dive. So, uh, so yeah, uh, that's, I, I, I would love for you to Viv. I would absolutely love that. Um, if you haven't already go create an account over on live space, it's uh, in open beta right now. So you can go create uh, your account. Um, and then you can go and follow me there. There's a link to my profile so that you get notifications when I'm live there. I'm also going to be working on some stuff, uh, in the bot to where when it posts my notifications in discord, it will have links to both. Um, I won't be able to post links in Twitch chat over to live space per their, um, their rules about simulcasting. Um, but, um, 
uh, I'm yeah, uh, hoping that uh, that gets uh, I can get it all get some stuff s squared away and set up. We also have um, I got some stuff that I want to try to work on to merge the chats on my end in the short term, but I know there's going to be that's going to be a a pain in the ass. So we'll I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. I'm it'll be fine. <laughs> I'll figure it all out. That's what I'll do. That's what I always do. Um, so, yeah. Super, super excited. Um, hoping, you know, y'all come along for the ride. Um, really looking forward to doing stuff there. Uh, we are at, again, we are at 900. We are over 900 followers on this channel here on Twitch. So I am just super ex jazzed about that thank y'all all so much for helping me get there i could not have done it without all of you um i am hoping to do the crow shit soon um i gotta figure out when i can get the camera but we have a sub goal um to help me raise the funds to get the new camera um so hoping to get 20 more subs uh here on twitch and that should be enough uh, to get me a decent used camera. It's over 900. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we have an ad break coming up in about 30 seconds. So, um, I'm sure I will see y'all all on the other side of that. Um, yeah, but yeah, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm getting really excited about it. And then, uh, yeah. After the ad break, I do want to come back and talk to y'all about the, um, uh, the stuff, uh, kind of some future planning stuff for the channel. Place it on the throne. I, oh no, Viv, I didn't, it's just not on right now. No, Viv, it's okay, buddy. It's just not turned on right now. Uh, cause we, I just, Tom was out the other night. So you haven't missed it. You haven't missed anything yet. I just uh, the other night. Yeah, the other night. You, it doesn't. It's not quite time to turn it back on yet because we're doing announcings and things. It's true. I will turn it back on once we're done with all the announcements and talkings and things. So give it just a few. We'll get there. Um, and I'll I'll wait till we get on the other side of the ad break. Um, I do. Let's see. How are we doing over here? Do, 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 do. We should change it to be a Golden Girls Redemption for anyone but Viv. For anyone but Viv? Oh, that reminds me. Tug asked me a thing the other day, and I don't... I, did I even reply to him? I don't know that I did. The hell should I know? No, yeah, I I replied to him, but I didn't check. All right, let me go. I want to go check something real quick while we're in ad break. This is actually a great time for me to do this. Um, he wanted to know if Firebot can like do automatic refunds of Channel Point Redemptions based on certain criteria, and I think we can. Let me go look at something real quick. Um, effects built in. Oh. Group reject channel reward redemption, yes. Variables built in. Uh, where's the reward? Do we have it here? Reward redemption ID. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just, I'm going to re reply to him real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Um, where's oh wait, where's I just I just had it. There we go. There we go. Okay, that should be that, and we should be back. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Enjoy your din dins. And we're back. All right, you settle down over there. And the wombat. What? The uh, DBZ bridge. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. All right, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Oh. Uh. There's going to no stream on Sunday of this week. Uh, Bean and I are going out for din dins. Um, can I come? I mean, if you can get, make it down here. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, so I will, there will be no stream on Sunday. I might do a Monday daytime stream, um, to make up for it. Uh, or maybe Monday night. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. I'll figure it out. If either way, either way, I'll put it in the Discord. It'll be in the Discord. Uh, you should be in the Discord because um, fun and ridiculous stuff happens in there. Also, there's food. I tried, but I can't fit. How many times have I told you you have to go in sideways, not front ways? Yeah, that's worse. Actually, clear dick caught in an Ethernet port. Oh my god! <laughs> that's Jesus Christ. That's true. Fritz will be. Fritz is live on Sunday. So you can watch Fritz when I'm not here. That's true. Um, also, by the way, Lolly, by the way, Outback Snake House. 10 out of 10. <laughs> You're welcome. Woods again. Um, anyway. Um, let's see, what else we got going on? Okay, so this is this is something that I wanted to talk to all of you about because I'm I've been kind of going back and forth on a lot of different things and I thought instead of me trying to just figure something out, I wanted to ask all of you what your thoughts are and just get an idea because this is shave the beard off entirely. I'm not shaving the beard off entirely. You've seen well, why what did I you even ask. You've seen what I look like with that and it is terrifying. You Super hot. You know that's a terrible idea. Um, Very erotic. You're, hey, have you tried growing a beard? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> so I've been trying to think of different incentives for like what, what kind of stuff y'all would like to see for like tier two and tier three subs. Um, Live Space doesn't have sub tiers yet, so whatever we do would be either would be for here or for um discord because we also have uh oh yeah toya this is this is just my fucking life this is just this is my life is living in here with these two idiots um just living la vida loca this is oh you could send a glitter bomb to a person of our choosing i choose you Send it to Pikachu. yourself. <laughs> it's, Pikachu. it's it's Clefairy. <laughs> it's glitter. Why wouldn't it be Clefairy? <laughs> um so uh, where's my anyway, okay. So my um for for tier two and tier three subs i'm i'm just trying to i'm coming trying to come up with incentives like what kind of stuff would you all like to get out of that because i mean from twitch's side there is where is it emotes 
From Twitch aside, I get to give you all one emote per tier. Like, so for tier two, you get one additional emote. For tier three, you get another additional emote. I mean, which is nice, and I would love to do that. But, like, I, you know, I that can't be it. Like, I want to know what kind of stuff y'all would like to see um, as far as, you know, stuff for Tier 2 and Tier 3 st folks. Because um, we don't have any of that right now. And I th that's completely understandable. You know, we don't have any of that. There's... Um, because there's, there's no real incentive, right? So, um, Viv, it's, it's literally right here. It's just, you know what? You know what? Just here. Where's the button? I'm pressing the, where's the, where's my lights button? There. No, no more. No more face. You don't get to see my face anymore. That's it. I can still see your face you you can bear you can't even see my face it's the... wait oh i th i thought for a second that your beard had just grown over the camera yeah that's exactly what it, mm. that that's what it was that's what it was yes, it was his beard yes that's what it was uh you boost the gamma god damn it elka all right there <laughs> anyway anyway Here's Wonderwall. <laughs> anyway, here's Wall Wonder. Um, so, I would like to know um, what kind of stuff that you all would like to see. You know, what what kind of stuff, if you have any ideas, things like that. Because you know, God damn it, Viv. <laughs> Why have none of us ever thought of that? We've been doing this almost three years now. Why have none of us ever thought of that? I'm well, pretty sure because, we've made that joke before. Have we? Because it, it takes a true Zundalo to, to <laughs> come up with something like that. I, I which is why why we had to wait for Viv. I feel like we would have I feel like I would have remembered if we had made that joke. But you don't remember what you did for, had for breakfast. Yeah, but that's a pun on my name. That's branding. You know if I'm I'm nothing if not on brand at all times. Hmm. Mm. Am I not? Mm. Come on, tell me, tell me I'm not on painfully, painfully on brand at all times. Yeah, that's true. All right, see, listen, you know this about me. You, uh, aside from being, you've basically spent more real life time around me in the last few years than anybody else. You don't even like brands. Oh my god. Anyway, you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she wore a crown and she came down in a bubble dug. Uh, anyway, um, I won't think about the kind of stuff that y'all would like to see out of like tier two, tier three subs. Um, what, you know, I like, I, I want to do something special, especially for like tier three. I would like to do something special. Just, I don't know what that is yet. And that's the problem is I, I've, I've been thinking of things and like, I had a couple of ideas, but some of them are like. A little expensive to get going so um just think about it um there's a feedback channel in the discord um if you have something like that put it in there um because that's something that i would love to have y'all's input on because again this stuff is for y'all like i want to know why you would want it you know what you would want out of a tier two or a tier three sub um i'm just so so tier one sub is the bottom one. Tier three is the, the best one. Right? Tier, tier three is tier three is the expensive one. Yes. So tier three is like, I don't know what is that like a pub sub, and then like tier one would be like, what like Subway. Yeah, that's fair. Where would Wall Wall fall? Where would Wall Wall fall in there? Probably tier two. Quiznos. That's uh. That's F tier. You're thinking. Of, you're thinking. You're thinking of Kick dot com. <laughs> <laughs> More bacon. More. That's the thing with the hamsters singing to you. I think there's a couple of Quiznos left, but not very many. Wawa is its own tier. Oh my god, spoken. No, is 
Is kick still a thing? I don't oh, give a shit about it. Anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick is still a thing. Yeah, it, it's very much still a thing. Yeah, well, it's because they got all that crypto gambling money. You see, so I mean, they're also still sponsoring fucking F one. So apparently, they still have money. Uh, more bacon. I I I never don't want more bacon, Batsy. I never don't want more bacon. Hello. How are you? Hi, Bean. Lockhart says hi, Bean. Hello, she, Bean. She did a cute little wave. Uh, Tom says hello, Bean. She did another cute little wave. Yeah. Nah. Now she's doing a cute little being a bean in a hallway. <laughs> yeah. Is Love that because you. she is currently a bean in a hallway? It's true. She is, well... She is now no longer a bean in a hallway. She is now a bean in the cozy room. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah I yeah. thought for a second she was no longer a bean. She had transformed. You're always cute, so. buddy. Yeah. If you were a bean, you were cute. That's how it works. Are you always a bean? Yeah. There you go. Also, there's a Viv and a Batsy, and they are sending their love from chat to you. Yay. She says yay. She's very excited about all the love. Hey, did you know that Monday was Bean's birthday? Mm-hmm. It was it was it was uh it was National Bean Day. I I, I wished Bean the happiest of of birth misses before you all left for uh for your away goings because I knew I wouldn't be able to reach her. It's true you did. You planned ahead and I know she appreciates that. She uh she actually she made mention of it, uh on on our day of uh our day of departure, she made specific mention of you sending her a message about it. Uh, uh, I, I thought I was either going to have to do that oh. or, well, never mind. I'll give you away if I. Oh, I probably don't need it, but I'll, I'll look at it later anyway. Uh, Andrew Ellis streaming. Um, all right. So one of two things is happening here. Um, uh, one, either you simply misunderstand, um, uh, my wife is not trans or two, you're being an asshole. So, um, I'm going to err on the side of the first one, but if it's the second one, this is your only warning. Don't be an asshole. Okay. Great. Okay. Good. Nicer than me. Um. Anyway. Um. So yeah. So I'm. Uh, I really. I. I. I really want to do the cross. <gasps> Kim, Kim's here. Okay, I got to do the thing. Where's the thing? There's the thing. Uh, remember when I was talking earlier about all of those damn fiber artist people with all of their, uh, with all their peer pressure and shit like that? Um, Kim is a hundred percent one of those people. And, uh, yeah, Kim, I got, I got my, I got the arm for a future overhead camera for doing crochet and stuff. So, yeah. Oh yeah. I know. I know Kim is, I know she is. Kim's a bad fucking influence, but in the best way we love Kim. Kim, if you listen, if you enjoy the vibes that we have here, um, but also you like people who are very crafty, uh, Kim's where you want to be. So you should be following her. And if you're not, I can't help you. That's, you gotta, you gotta get, uh, you gotta get right. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Ah. 
So Well done, Viv. Well done, buddy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It was uh, created three oh. hours ago. Yeah. Never sure. mind. Yeah, it sure you was. Did it. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Please control yourself. Like this is a mature party. Oh, and no. Party, Mochi. Speaking well, speaking of creative people around here that we love and we love their vibes. Uh Mochi is an artist friend of ours. Uh she's actually done some artwork for us here including uh her beautiful portrayal of the Mewtwo, which is yes, yes, this this cookie is still on my desk. <laughs> he loved himself. It's just oil and sugar, huh? Did you scare the loaf? Maybe. Oh no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> for the oh. for an entire dollar, I I will I ask that you lick. The I'm Mewtwo. not licking the Mewtwo for the love of God. For those of you dollar. coming from from those of you coming from Mochi Stream, hello, I'm underscore. Uh, I'm a variety streamer, and my variety is starting to expand because I'm considering starting doing creation, like makers and crafting kind of stuff. Um, again, from my side of the world, if you don't follow Mochi, uh, she is a talented visual artist. She's done artwork again of our, uh, a rendition of our Mewtwo. She's also done the Luna loaf. Uh, where's the, I have that here somewhere. Oh, Hey, what else has she done? I, Any, anything? I, I can't really think of anything else that she's done, uh, for this stream specifically. I just, I, not off the top of my head. Um, where, where the hell? Oh, here it goes. Uh, random. Oh, this is the one. That's that, that right there. That's the Luna loaf. That's the one that, uh, that Mochi did just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rendition of My Kitten's Cat. If um, you ever need anything done in the style of of, of a Sailor Moon character... That's extremely true. Your person. That's extremely true, yes. That's, yeah. Not to, not to like, put Mochi in a box, but... Well, listen, I but mean... But she does that specific thing. Yeah, but that's what she specializes in. Extraordinarily well. She does. She does. That's, that's like, her thing. Did you right? see the Skeletor she did? I did. I did see the Skeletor she did. I sure did. Boy, howdy. That's that's basically, like, you and me put together, pal. <laughs> like a Skeletor Our and Sailor Moon. combined. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is Thunder Shrek Erasure. Oh, never forget. Never forget. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, yes, uh, but I'm just saying you is, have you are able to do things other than that also is all I wanted to make sure people knew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, so anyway, um yeah. Um We're still, so, oh God, no, 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 Mochi, for the love of God, no. <laughs> Quizunders. Quizundinos. Mochi, you, you truly are Quizunos. better than that. You truly are better than that. Zing, oh God, no, 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 not that, no, no. Single, no. yay. Oh God. Oh, uh, anyway. Um, Mochi, thank you again from the, for the raid. Um, I, I very much appreciate you. Um, Hey, for those of you who are 
who are just coming in uh, tonight, I announced that I got accepted to the Live Space Boost program, uh, which I am boost. There it is, which I am extremely <laughs> excited about. So, starting here in the next couple of weeks, I will be uh, simulcasting over on Live Space. Go create your account, and once you do, follow me over there if you would, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to to getting some um expanding my horizons and that is a cool hype that is a cool hype that's kim's hype oh it's kim's hype that's kim's kim, yeah cool hype yeah kim has kim has all kinds of cool stuff kim's kim's pretty fucking fantastic and then every once in a while there's a there's a special appearance in chat from her husband wayne who is just wayne's top fucking notch he's great and they actually have a uh we love wayne song over there it's just perfect. And a channel in the Discord that only Mochi can post in, and it'll be just her art. I wonder if I could make a thread with permissions that could only be like Um I wonder if I could do that. Like I wonder if I could do per thread Does permissions. Mochi have a Discord? Yeah, Mochi, do you have a Discord? So if she has a Discord that she posts that stuff to, can't you just like subscribe to that channel and have it like auto post shit to your Discord too? Only if it's an announcement channel and she posts them as announcements. That's the thing with cross posting. So what happens okay. is announcement channels announcement channels work like this in Discord. So um they're regular text channels. But they basically have a flag on the other. I also announce stuff like my dog getting stuck in a corner. <laughs> well, I want to know about that. That's adorable. That's 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 really cute. Oh, uh, but um, announcement channels just have a flag on them to note that they are announcement channels, so that when you post things in there, you have the option to basically blast out whatever that post is to anyone who subscribed to that channel. And then what happens is when you subscribe to it, it's just a webhook on Discord's in. So it just gets the post, sends a notification to itself to let everybody who is, you know, connects to that webhook go, all right, I got an announcement. So it's from their side, like it's, it's, you know, under the hood magic, but it's really just like a couple of like, it's their own it's it's a mechanism that's already in place just with a little with with nice check boxes around it it's actually really well done i was mostly just looking for a way to see if we could uh low-key shill for mochi's discord too at the same time i know i mean mochi please feel free to post a link to your discord if you would like um you know i you know i i, I love all of that shit um what else have we got going on? Um, so I talked about the live space thing. Uh, I talked about, um, again, I want y'all to think about tier two and tier three uh, incentives, what y'all would like to see, because um, that's that's very important to me. Um, we are shooting for a thousand followers by the end of the year, by the end of the calendar year. So um end of December, I want to hit a thousand followers. I know that is a huge, um, posting a promo show. Yeah, that works Mochi. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, I know uh, that's a, that's a huge goal. Um, and I, but I would really, I really want y'all's help cause I'm really pushing to get to one K. Um, cause we are, we are the last little like stretch of this. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to hitting that last, um, or hitting that, that next milestone. So, um, thousand follower goals is live right now. Uh, got a goal up for 20, at least 20 new subs, uh, so that I can get the overhead camera up here. Um, and that's, uh, yeah. Um, I think that's, that's all the big stuff. So stuff it's well yeah that's because it's taking up a lot of real estate on the screen mm. am i wrong we have cold stone oh i didn't hear what you're saying i'm busy drinking cold stone he's got cold stone that's so you drinking cold stone i have milkshake 
Yeah, you got a milkshake. Is that why all those boys are in your yard? <laughs> that's <laughs> yes, that's that's typically what brings me to his yard. Well, that and because I want to come inside and and pet that dog. I just I, I just I just walk up to us I walked up to his house and he's got a ring doorbell. He's got like the uh the, the camera doorbell, so I push it and I just go, Can I pet that dog? Um Oh no, he never has enough to share Toya. Ever. No. He won't share. Although <gasps> Hey Lolly. Hmm. Ha listen, not to uh not to go on repeat here, but do you want an ever any pasta bowl again sometime soon? How long does it go for? <laughs> I don't know, but well, it's still going. Well, I mean, <laughs> by definition, it's never ending. So, <laughs> If never ending pasta bowl, mm. if the event was never ending, I would just cry. Just tears of pure joy. It would be so nice. I mean, oh. they've got to be making a fortune off of that. Like, there's no way... You're going to like three or four servings is going to cost them thirteen bucks, right? Like, I mean, most people aren't getting three and four servings. That's just professionals like us. Most people, I'm sure, are only getting two. Yeah. So you know, <clears throat> even more to my point. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's going really well for them. But also, it keeps people at the Olive Garden longer, and that's you know, the guy who ate eight bowls, Jesus H, tap dancing Christ. I'm I'm oh, man. I'm past my prime. That's I don't have that in me anymore. I have I got four and a take home. Uh, we got last time we got uh, we each got we three and a take three and a take home. home. Yeah, that's what we did last time. I had pasta. one one more in me, but it wouldn't have ended well. Rookie numbers. <laughs> Listen, so uh, the options that they have, we're we're doing this now, aren't we? Well, that's what we're doing now. Uh, all right, we're gonna do. Oh, hey, while we're doing fuck all. Yeah. Have you ever tried Contexto? What's Contexto? So it's a uh, a daily web game, right? Okay. And you guess a word, and it gives you a rating as to how how closely that word relates to the actual word. And then you can just keep guessing infinitely. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. And like you, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Miss Ali Beth done got me into that last week and now I've been doing them religiously. Um, by the way, speaking of games that, uh, people have recently gotten into my current high score on the watermelon game is like 28 something. <laughs> I've done real good on the watermelon game. I'm, I'm, but, uh, I'm pretty good at it. Did Bean, did Bean play the Taylor Swift one? What Bean? Oh, Tom wants to know if you played the Taylor Swift thing. Oh, she says she can't get it to load on her phone. Maybe your iPad. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a shame. She's gonna try. Anyway, if you scroll to the bottom on the watermelon game, yeah, it says something like all of the game, all of the Suica games, or oh. whatever, and it's essentially a thousand clones of the watermelon game where they've just replaced the fruit with different shit. Oh, that's and one of them is one of them is pictures of Taylor Swift, and I was like, oh, uh, uh, mean you need this. Oh, that's like, <laughs> that's pretty fantastic. Your high score is twenty six eighty four. Nice. Let me go. Let me let me look at my twenty three nineteen. We have twenty three nineteen. It's sixty sixty nine four twenty. Nice. Uh, I think I think my high is around like nineteen hundred or something. Like I'm not good at it. My strategy see. of uh, just drop shit wherever it shows up is not going well. Uh, that was twenty seven something. Twenty eight fifty six. That's my current high score on the watermelon game. 2856. That's it. I got this screenshot a couple nights ago. So, have I heard of the Florida Man games? Jesus Christ. Yes. You know, I, I have Flamingo. I have. Sadly, I have. Is this a drinking game? Is this no. alligator racing? I Are don't we... even. I don't even remember what it is. 
how Florida man of it is me of how Florida man is it of me to want to crap an alligator, paint it red, and put a candle on its forehead and call it Skeleturge. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I'd say so. All right, let's. The Florida Man what is Games. This? <clears throat> the Florida Man Games. <laughs> Quote from the Orlando Sentinel If you had a fever and you really had Florida Man on your mind when you went to sleep, this would be your fever dream. AP News. It's going to be, it's going to really be an opportunity to live that Florida Man life. For a day. People Magazine. Games that let participants seemingly get an adrenaline rush minus any jail time. Watch, compete against friends, and get ready to laugh until it hurts. You're about to dive headfirst into the most insane athletic showdown on Earth. The Florida Man Games, where the events are as unexpected as the headlines that inspired them. Where the athletes are, let's just say, unconventionally talented. Think you've seen wild? Think again. From wrestling in the mud to running from actual sheriff's deputies, the Florida Man Games TM is where the bizarre meets brawn and sanity is optional. This isn't just a competition, it's a one-of-a-kind Floridian spectacle. Think you can handle it? Prove it. Snag those tickets now, because like Florida's summer storms, they're here one minute and gone the next. That's actually true. Uh huh. I'd rather fuck a pencil sharpener. Weaponized Whenever pool noodle mud in. duel. Evading arrest obstacle course. Category five cash grab. Grab that cash. A catalytic converter, two bikes, and a handful of copper pipes race against time. <laughs> that sounds like an episode of Cracko. All of this does. Beer belly Florida sumo. Uh, just, I... Uh. Okay, so I have two things I want to I call out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All of those. Hold on, hold on. They have, oh my god, they the have, American gladiators. They have American <laughs> gladiators who are fucking judging this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I love the oh, disc- I love the disclaimer down here. Disclaimer: The Florida Man Games is not affiliated, sponsored, or endorsed by American Gladiators. They look pretty good for being like sixty. Well, that in fairness, they were actual like like hardcore athletes of their time. So, you know, yeah, but that hasn't always traditionally worked this out. This is well. real. This is real. The Florida Man Games is real. Florida Man, Florida Man Games aren't real. They can't hurt you. <laughs> Entertain Florida Wipeout. Yeah, that's <laughs> Mullet Contest. <laughs> Florida Mam Pinup. Florida Mam. Chicken Coop Bingo. Two chickens will decide whether you win or lose in this fun, dirty game inspired by our Floridian family and places like to enter. <laughs> God. Where they literally Wait. do this for fun because they don't know their Wait. cell phones exist yet. <laughs> Did somebody find Krakow's diary? <laughs> Tom's <laughs> like, did somebody find Krakow's diary? Can we go to this? Can we bring Krakow? <laughs> Can we bring Krakow? Nine one one fight night, brawl of the badges. Watch officers take on firefighters in the brawl of the badges main event as the Florida Man Games comes to a close. This epic showdown promises to be intense as these heroes clash in battle to prove who's the toughest behind the badge. I would love to watch them beat the shit out of each other. Yeah, firefighters for sure. Absolutely. I love the insurance company doesn't love this, but we don't care. <laughs> Barbecue competition. That's oh, now you're in. <laughs> alligator shows, pepper vendors, SWAT vehicles, and more. Sponsored by Ripley's and a Ford dealership. Oh my god. So I have two things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go on, go One, on. A lot of the artwork for these uh logos and different games. Yeah. They look very GTA. Yeah, they sure do. I'm sure that's by design. But 
I can't help but feel like they're AI generated. Uh, that's also probably fucking true, honestly. Like, look at the hand. Like, look at the hands on that guy. Let's let's open the image in a new tab. Let's let's analyze. The, oh yeah, that's. Oh my god, it's not even good. AI this is these are these are absolutely AI fucking generated images. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, so he's got. F it looks like he's got four fingers and a thumb. Yeah, but look at his fucking face. Look at his face. This is. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Florida Man Designs website is what's happening here right now. Analyze. Nice, nice, Jonas. Nice. Like the clown nose, right? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, well, the face. Florida, the face is. Like it, the face starts out innocuous enough here, and then we move in, and like, is the is the hurricane on his face? Is this like the storm center right here? Is what's going on? What you got, my sleeve? <laughs> I mean, it's either that or they're just trying to say that this is his face after bath salts. I mean, it could be something. Let's. Uh, it's crazy to think that's what we all look like on the inside. All right, let's look at this one. Uh, all right, this one, the face looks. The face looks pretty all right, and the glasses are a little weird, but okay. How many? Oh my God, those hands. No wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a thumb. There's one weird slender finger over here. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the watch has like a weird thing going on here. <laughs> I have no idea what that's trying to be. What is going on with the feet here? It's the feet are just melting into the fucking bike. That's why you're supposed to wear protective footwear so that doesn't happen. Uh, <laughs> oh man. And this is what it's like to drive a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Let's look at this one cuz this one I'm more curious about. Okay, so Okay, that's pretty normal over there. That's mostly normal over here. Okay. We got, we got four fingers. We got four fingers. And then we have the cast of the walking dead going on back here. <laughs> oh my God. How many knuckles could one man have? Yeah. However many he needs. Yeah. This is, yeah. Yeah. Jonas, this is, <laughs> Oh, this is this is clips. This is just a still image from the next Fallout game. <laughs> wow! Wow! Pretty great stuff. What the fuck is that guy's pointer finger? Oh my god! Oh god! The finger splits. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a second. We've got like. Where's the, where's the ha what what's going on here? What is what is happening here? Like just here, what is happening right here? Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Finally, also, the end of those game. aren't those <laughs> aren't sunglasses. That's just like sh a shadow cast by his giant brow. Or is, something. is that what it is? Like his his eyebrows it's, just are that look, far those out? Aren't glasses. Like, there's there's nothing there's no earpieces. It's just right. like right here. I mean, it could. It's like, it's like his eyes are gone and his face is just caved in right there. The void where his eyes used to be. <laughs> how can? Okay, I mean, what is this hand? Through. What is what? this hand doing right here? That that hand has started to melt. See, and this is the bad part because I feel like we have gotten to a part where point at least with ai art that we've at least been able to train them to generate better better crap than this too like what's going on here <laughs> kids don't drugs do <laughs> and this is why we don't this is why ai generated art is garbage just one of the many reasons <laughs> and this is the part where we plug alonka and mochi again right <laughs> yeah pretty much this is the part on sprockets where we dance 45 to 145 dollars this is this is on eventbrite so let's see what the let's see what our tickets are so field ticket 
45 bucks general admission to field grounds no refunds when purchasing a ticket, you acknowledge that you may be photographed at this event and your image and likeness can be used in books, magazines, video, or other promotional materials surrounding this event. VIP ticket access includes drinks, climate controlled VIP area, VIP air, con air conditioned restrooms, celebrity meet and greet and reserved bleacher seating during the Florida man games. Celebrity meet and greet. You can add on a selfie and autograph from both nitro and ice. Yeah. Your chance to get an autograph Wait, how and a, much? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Fuck that. 50 bucks. That's why they're doing this. They're doing this because they're getting 45 of this 50 bucks. Garen goddamn tea it. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know if I would have paid that when it was on the air. Let's see. Sponsorships. What do we got here? Nope, nothing here. Become a vendor. We got a nope. Okay. Team registration on that show for more than one year. They're in St. Augustine. FAQ. What do we got here? <clears throat> okay. The title has huge in its wording as the Chuck fucks have made a certain. Yes, Tay, we've Tay, we've already been over it at least twice. Not even related to this. Just we've already been over it twice. God damn it, Tay. Also, hi, Tay. Uh, let's see. Team submissions. Do I have to be an athlete to compete? Being athletic is not required at all. Thanks, I guess. But I want to know. I want to know what's what celebrities are going to be there. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Chicken coop bingo. Wait, should we take a closer look at the chickens? Oh, Since yeah. All... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, let's look at the chickens. Let's look at the chickens. All right. Like, they could be fine, but... They, I mean, no. they look and yeah. they look innocuous the enough. The bing, the, on the bingo. Card. Oh, oh yeah, no. The I, I noticed. I noticed like over here. I like the bingo card is fucked. Like the closest thing that we have is like the eleven here and the fifteen here look fine, but that's not even correct bingo. This is yeah no. Although the. This one, this one, uh, these feet down here aren't looking great either. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a little, uh, suspect. Uh, that's, but Tay, you're fine, buddy. You're fine. You should just always assume that, you know, all right, let's, let's look at this one. Okay. Uh, I think the, I think what's there, like there's a weird fade going on here. I'd say. Good Lord. Flamingo, look what you've done. This is, this is your doing. This is all your fault. Bowser. This Come one, on, this one actually looks the board, board. M the least like artifacted of all of them. Oddly enough, I wonder if this one might have just been stolen. Although this looks like uh, like the hair, like the snake is part of the hair here. Like mm -hmm. that one's kind of fucked. And that hand doesn't look good. A single I'm huge saying. chest hair? It very well could be, Tay, yes. We don't, we can't really, oh, what's going, okay. Nope, well, we gotta go look at what's going on here. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We wouldn't. <laughs> the snake just ate that hand. It's fine. You act like you've never seen a human before. 
Florida you might Ma- not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Florida Mam official hosts the 2024 Florida Mam Pinup Girls, showing off the wild and wonderful women of Florida in this fun and entertaining show, judged by some of Florida's most notable women. I don't even want to know what qualifies you to be on that fucking list. I don't even want to know. Shut up, Viv. <laughs> <laughs> Been on the region it might be a leech that's also true let's see well at least wait look at that boxing glove the guy in red That, that one. one, that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> that boxing glove has seen some better days. So the parole list probably Tay. Seen some shit. I'm assuming. I'm assuming here because this is a this is a battle between police and firefighters. That this is the police officer in blue and the firefighter in red. Notice that the firefighter is wearing headgear and the police officer is not. Draw your own conclusions. (laughs) Just. I just. uh, Oh, my God. No, no, Flamingo, this is. Listen, I didn't I didn't have much of a plan, honestly, so. Actually, yeah. you you more railed it than anything. That's. <laughs> what? Are you are you saying? Are you, did you just accuse Flamingo of fucking the stream? No. Oh. Did Flamingo get consent first. Ah. Uh. And I can think of worse ways of, you know, wasting our time than making fun of AI art and Florida Man at the same time. And Florida Man at the same time. Wow, just Wow. Uh God. It's a kind of a simultaneous why does this exist and why wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's our Tay. There he is. That's how we know Tay is alive and well. It just do we look at the Instagram? Do we dare? Love, what do you, oh, I, love just galloped as she she meowed and then galloped in here. I hear meowing. That was yeah, she meow from like a from our bedroom across the hall, and she just whoosh. Love, what are you doing? Did you see a ghost? Was there a ghost? I think Loaf saw a ghost. Uh, that'll happen. Yeah, she saw it like about a month ago, and I think now that there's a, uh, I think our house is haunted. I mean, in yeah, fairness, saying this, in fairness, it was it was October last month, so you know that's about the usual time that you would get a ghost. No, it's their Christmas. Hi, Chirpature. What you doing? Did you come here? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that so? Oh. Oh. Wow, just... Oh my god. Uh. Well. Well. mm. They're committed. To the bit. They are committed to the bit. <clears throat> uh Tay, be uh be safe going home, pal. Oh, he's listening. I'm listening. Alright, settle down up there, Fraser. No. Alright, that's fair. Wow, this is just Oh boy, this was a th- this was a thing. Anyway, back to never ending pasta bowl. Let's let's go back. Because earlier, um, huh? I I got the green light to make plans for that. By the way, yes, 
Bean, I'm going to Never Ending Pasta Bowl with Lockhart next week. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. Bean, Bean will actually accompany us on this one. Hey! <clears throat> All right. I'll ask my better half the day of, because, you know, she... It depends on the work day. That's no, that's fair. Okay, so uh, we're yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course we are, Mochi, because when you're here, you're family. Mm, that's true. Okay, so here's all right. So Toya was saying earlier um, that it depends on the uh, the pasta, right? So let's let's look at the let's look here. <clears throat> So you have four pasta options, five sauce options, and then you can add a protein, uh, an endless protein for an additional price. So Lockhart, in true Lockhart fashion, has been getting fettuccine Alfredo with the crispy chicken, right? The chicken strips. <laughs> to which Bean goes, bitch, in the next room. <laughs> <clears throat> no 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 that's that's her that's not she's not calling you a bitch she's saying like bitch as in oh bitch i need this oh good. oh you said <laughs> oh she said i didn't hear the my i'm sorry he, she said my bitch so that's even better for you oh hey, hey, hey. <laughs> wait why is being her bitch better <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, i don't know it's it's not bad okay uh, <laughs> macaroni <laughs> with the chicken strips. That's basically what this is. <laughs> Hi, Carsis. How you doing, buddy? So Lockhart, Lolly, he will get the fettuccine Alfredo with the crispy chicken. That's that's it. That's what he does. He is a man of simple of of simple but like specific tastes. He knows what he likes. He sticks to it, and you know we we appreciate that about him. That's what we appreciate about him. Why don't you take about 10% off there, Squirrely Tom? Uh, <laughs> now, for me, I don't I don't typically get it very often elsewhere. <clears throat> and it's not something that you see on menus a whole lot. Um, not as much as some of the other options, but I love a good angel hair, right? You've never had angel hair pasta with meat sauce or creamy mushroom? Jonas, I'm so glad you brought that up because for this iteration of Never Ending Pasta Bowl, my go-to, the one that I keep coming back to because it's just so damn good, is the angel hair with the creamy mushroom sauce and the crispy chicken. Now, I have done the spaghetti with both the marinara and the meat sauce. I've done it with, uh, with and without the meatballs. <clears throat> but let me tell you, the angel hair, the creamy mushroom, and the crispy chicken is a winning combo. It is delicious. I keep coming back to it. In fact, when I went with Lolly, what was it last week? Um, that's all I got. That's that was that was it. I just kept getting those. Man, it was great. You know, I'll go to yeah. Fuck it. Come on, Carsis. Come on, bud. You come to Tampa. We'll all go to Olive Garden together. Fuck yeah. So I will I absolutely do this. I did well. My first one was rigatoni, five cheese, and meatballs. Mm -hmm. And then after that first one, I swapped out the five cheese for just regular marinara because yeah. I was just in a mood for it. Yeah. But I like the rigatoni because I get sauce inside and out. Yeah. See, that's that's a if you if you want like <clears throat> better permeation of the sauce, that's what you want right there. Is the rigatoni? That's what you want. That this right here. That's it. That's Lollipop's combo right there. That's what he kept getting. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo with the chicken, which is literally just macaroni with the chicken strips. And then there's, macaroni of course, and cheese for adults. Yes, exactly. Yes. And then over here, you have a classic. You've got the spaghetti with the meat sauce and the meatballs on top, which is, again, classic combination. <clears throat> also, also, um, so I, I think I'm going to end up testing this theory this week when we go, uh, or next week when we go, cause it's Friday now 
when we go next week, I'm going to test this out because I keep seeing people say this and I want to make sure that it's like legit, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure we saw this when we were there last week, Lolly, but you apparently can buy the cheese grater from them and they will give you cheese to take home to use with it. <laughs> and I want the cheese grater because this is my favorite game on the planet. It's beautiful. And I love it, and I always win. Macaroni and cheese is macaroni and cheese for adults. I mean, that too. That's, that's, okay, Jonas, that's fair. <clears throat> that's fucking fair. Yes, tacos, the huge announcement is about Olive Garden about and about how I'm going for my one, two, three, fourth visit. My fourth visit for Never Ending Pasta Bowl of the season next week. Ah. Uh, fourth fourth i've been i've been three times already once with bean during the preview that was exclusively for the e-club members it's okay i'm <clears throat> i'm a member uh and twice with lolly now um uh, but no the huge announcement from earlier uh i have been accepted into live spaces new um uh boost program that's going to start here in in december where um, up to a thousand creators are going to get a 100% split uh, revenue split of their subs minus any uh, processing fees. Um, <clears throat> Live Space is a new platform that I've been kind of investigating for the last few months. Uh, did a couple of test streams over there. Really enjoyed it. Um, they s streaming is a a a major part of what they're doing, but it is not like the primary focus. They want to cater to creators of all different types and audiences. So they're doing some, some of the, like the best of, of multiple platforms. Um, so, uh, I'm going to start simulcasting over there, uh, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to have that set up and, uh, you can, the, the sites in open beta right now, you can go sign up. And if you would, please consider following me over there so that I uh, can start building up an, uh, you know, that community. Um, there is a social feed over there, which is if you've done anything like Patreon or coffee or anything like that in the past, where you can post things or have subscriber only post things like that. Um, that's also a feature that they have. So I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting more involved with that platform. Um, also, uh, also, uh, we hit over 900 followers here on this channel. So we've got a, our goal by the end of December, um, big, big goal, but I want to try to get us to a thousand followers before the end of the year this year. And I also have a sub goal to get 20 new subs because I am looking to get an overhead camera, another camera to point down at my desk to start working on, um, potentially doing some learning crochet and stuff like that. I might even build Lego sets. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so Ooh. I'm, I'm looking forward to all of that, but that's, those are the big announcements, which I'm, uh, I'm super excited about. Uh, and Amy, to answer your question, uh, about endless shrimp at red lobster, I'm for it. I fucking love endless shrimp and I've missed the last couple of years and I'm very disappointed in myself for, for getting to go. Apparently Viv wants me to do Lego on stream. I can't, I can't really tell you why I think that, but I just have a feeling. <clears throat> what? You want to do Legos with me? Okay. When you, when you want to sit over there and do Lego while I do it over here? Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I will do, maybe I will do a Lego. What is my phone as a camera? I get myself a nice phone. I mean, I do have a... I do have a thing where I can put my phone up there. However, um, my phone in particular, it is a very weird size and the camera on it is honestly not the best. So I would have to like go and find and dust off my old, uh, my galaxy S nine plus, <clears throat> but I would like to, I would honestly like to have a dedicated camera here is, is really what I would like to have. Cause I would like to have better, more fine grain control over that Viv. Yes. Use your galaxy S nine for your face cam, the galaxy, like it's 
Samsung phones have really good cameras on them. They really, really do. Um, face has a really good camera. A <laughs> really good camera, your face. What do you think about that? You don't even know. <laughs> one of those. Is that one of those grizzle phones? Yeah, that's a that's a grizzle phone. Um, uh, no, this is a Microsoft Surface Duo Two. Um, so it is a it is a um, dual screen phone, um, and it's nice because like the the screens are. It's it's hard to to really tell, but the the hinge here, like it actually separates, so it's not like a uh, it's not like a single screen that folds in the middle. It's two separate screens. Uh, it's basically two separate phones that are hinged together. Uh, of course, it's yeah, Mochi. Come on, Mochi. Come on. Um, so it's the form factor I love. The software leaves a lot to be desired, <clears throat> both from the Android side and the Microsoft specific stuff that's on top of it. So eh, I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to get the itch for another device, and this one may be become like a work phone because I'm trying to uh, get my tech consulting stuff off the ground. Um, and I will probably use it exclusively for that and then get another, like a regular, like a, I don't know, like another galaxy or something for that, uh, hey for my you, personal stuff. Get that business off the ground. You don't know where that ground has been. That's true. I, I don't know where that ground has been. You bought a second arm to use your pixel two as a second cam, but you have to find a secondary camera. For, oh, gotcha. 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 Yes. Zam, this is the big announcement. I'm going to never ending pasta bowl this week. Yep. Uh, f another big announcement. Sam is Canadian. Jonas, how dare you? How dare you? Jonas, you know better. How dare you? <laughs> Zam, are you feeling better yet? Zam. Zam, are you feeling better yet? Poor Zam. Zam got the... He got like the... I mean, I sure, yeah. Give us, give us the long story. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be here for another couple hours, probably. Um, go, f go follow Zam. He, he likes to swear and yell about things. That's it. That's what he does. He yells, and he swears a lot, and that's just what it's he does. It's more entertaining than Zunder's making it sound. It's great. It's. Oh, <clears throat> but also there's birds. Uh, there, sometimes, he, sometimes there are birds. Like he has, he actually has really, he has very cute birds. Yeah. Um, you got worse last night, really bad. I go to the doctor today. But, oh Jesus Christ, Zammy. Nice, but you don't have pneumonia. Well, I'm glad you don't have pneumonia. That part's good. Uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, Zam got like the double whammy. He got Rona and bronchitis. So. New antibiotics are working out good. Feel like a new man to do. Nice. Good job, Zammy. I'm proud of you, buddy. Hey, don't. No, listen here. Listen here, Nine. Don't you come in here and start judging us for looking at Never Ending Pasta Bowl, all right? Listen, just because you, you worked in a fancy restaurant and you know what good food is and should be like coming from a restaurant kitchen, just because you have fancy restaurant background doesn't mean you can come in here and tell me not to enjoy my shitty chain restaurant food because I'm gonna, because I'm fat and I, ha I am unscrupulous when it comes to food. I will eat just about anything. I'm gonna do it and I'll do it again. This will be my fourth trip to Never Ending Pasta Bowl this season, and you can't stop me. You can't stop me, Nine. How dare you? But what if How, she could? She can't. She can't stop me. Could. Never Ending Pasta Bowl is hell on earth. Listen. Listen. I am a good customer. All right? I am an easy customer. I always know what I want. I'm ready promptly, and I bust my own table. Bean thinks Pretty it's much. weird, but I do it anyway. She's right. It's weird. It's not that weird. I'm kidding. Weird. I'm kidding. It's really not that weird. It's so weird. Posture traumatic stress disorder. Jesus Christ. Nine says she has posture traumatic um, stress disorder because... 
her first serving job was at OG, and she's been, she's been through Never Ending Pasta Bowl. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, poor nine, poor nine, nine, I, nine, I fucking love you, Jesus Christ, I love you, I love you so much, you nerd. All you can eat soup, salad, and breadsticks. <laughs> That's what keeps that's what keeps me sane between seasons of never ending pasta bowl nine. It's because I can know I can go in there for lunch or dinner and get unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. And I will eat the salad, and I will eat my chicken and gnocchi, and it is good. Is it top quality? Of course not. It's mass chain restaurant, but I like it anyway, and the produce is fresh. And the olives in the salad are actually pretty good and nice and briny. And I love them. And I love them. Serving shitty frozen cocktails with Italianified names. Listen, listen, you can't say shit to me, Nine. I live in Tampa. Do you know what? Do you know what lives in Tampa? Do you know what we are home to? We are home to the Outback Steakhouse. There's nothing Australian about it. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I love it. I love the Outback Steakhouse because there are no rules and it is just right. And I love my Bloomin' Onion. And I love my, fro my frozen honey molasses bread that they serve to me. And it's so good. It's so good. Oh, the Bloomin' Onion is pretty badass. It's true. I love a Bloomin' Onion. I love a loaded Bloomin' Onion when they put fries and cheese and bacon and shit on top. Oh. So good. Tom knows. He's had it. Oh, yeah, I gotta hop in there for steak, miss. Oh, yeah. See? Oh. So the, the one with the cheese inside the onion? Okay, listen, listen. Um, listen, so... I think it's a bone-in ribeye. It's really, really funny that you mentioned this, Tom. Uh, because, yes, it is the bone-in ribeye with the cheese and the onion. Um, it's, it's funny you say that because... I, I'm sitting on the couch, and this is the second email that I've gotten about it, because of course I'm on the email list for Outback. Why wouldn't I be, right? Same. <clears throat> and so I'm sitting here, and I get the email, and I'm sitting next to Bean when I get it, and I'm like, well, I'm like, I, I said, uh, I said, Outback's done it. They have found a way for me to like the holiday season because they have come up with their own name for the holiday season. And I said, yeah. I said, can you guess what it is? And she just looks at me, and she goes, is it steak miss? I said, it's sure the fuck is steak miss. It's steak miss. And it's great. I love it. But in fairness, they do have that chocolate tower cake that uh, I'm really looking forward to trying a piece of. All right. Yeah. 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 Like, like a nine layer Shit. chocolate cake. Oh, I'm well, why don't you go there next? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that's. After the, Joke you mean people. after Never Ending Pasta Bowl? That's, I probably will. No, I mean, I mean literally website wise. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, we can do Show that. Show them what we're talking about, you know? Yeah, we can do, street. we can do that too. Yeah, let's, uh, do, 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 do. Is it, or is, it or is it just outback.com? Of course it's just outback.com. Okay, so nine, nine. Oh, perfect. Yeah, there we go. It's right there. Nine. Cheddar Bay Biscuits are love. Cheddar Bay Biscuits are life. And we actually had this conversation a little while ago. Aunt Bubba was asking me how I felt about endless shrimp at Red Lobster. And I am for it. And I am sad that I have keep forgetting and have missed the last couple of years of it. Because I love endless shrimp. It's so good. Oh. I wasn't kidding. I told you. It's, it's steak, miss. They have a gingerbread cookie martini, if you're into that sort of thing. Okay. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Miss Alibeth, 34 heckin' months. Miss Alibeth, thank you so much. I love you That's bunches. Several months. There's a kitty. She came back for pets. Look, look, look. Folks, it is steak miss season, and we must celebrate the only way we know how. <laughs> 
Zam is going off to find a food now because Zam is probably hungry because we made him this way. And this is what we do here. This is what we do. We get hungry. What are you doing, the many services you provide or whatever. <laughs> Love keeps coming over for pets. Do you want more pets? Do you want pets? She, she doesn't fear the scoop. No. Eh, she, she doesn't fear it, but she knows that it's a possibility. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're so good pets. Oh, such good pets. You remember when Loaf? Oh my god, I love, I love Loaf. I'm told Michael's is having a 25% off everything sale. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, listen, I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I have no doubt that not only did Allie Beth already know about the sale, but she has already taken advantage of the sale because when there is a, when there is a Michael's sale, I'm sure Allie Beth knows and is already there. Yes, you need to take 50% off your already's. (laughs) 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 Um, hey, by the way, um, I, I know it's, 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 it's over, it's over here. It's over here and it's up there. We're still doing our fundraiser for trans lifeline. We are oh. just over $430 away from our goal of $5,000. I'm still just blown away from the support that everyone has, has given. Um, the link is in chat. If you would like to donate, you can also do it. If you're watching on the Twitch website on PC, um, you can, where the subscribe button usually is, there is a donate to charity button there and you can donate from there. Um, so please consider giving if you haven't already, or even if you have, um, we have, we have a couple of folks who just keep donating and boy, howdy, I sure do love that. Um, I want to us to hit that $5,000 before the end of the month this month. Um, I want to go ahead and get that closed out. We have been running this for a little while now. Um, and again, I could not thank everybody enough for all of their support for an incredible cause and for, uh, an even more worthy, um, reason. But, um, yeah, again, we are, we are raising money for trans lifeline, an organization that provides support and financial programs to help out, um, trans and non-binary people. It is run and operated by trans and non-binary people. Um, Jonas, thank you so much for the 3031 to Trans Lifeline. That puts us right at 4600. We are exactly 400 bucks away from our goal. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, pal. I I really appreciate that. Um So yeah. Um Yep, yep, yep. Great, great, great cause. Um okay, so Back to back to our Lord and Savior Beef. Um, so yes, it is steak mis season. Uh, let's see. There's the there's the veteran special. Um, the holiday gift card special. Okay, this steak mis season. Try our new blooming French onion sirloin. By the way, not sponsored. And none of this sponsored. Not a single one. But God damn it, I'm going to talk about it anyway because I'm passionate about this. Um, new Bloomin' French Onion Sirloin inspired by the flavors of our French onion soup, which I frequently get. And I gotta say, again, as chain French onion soups go, Outback's pretty good. There's not a whole lot to a French onion soup, right? Like, you have some beefy type broth and a bunch of caramelized onions and bread and cheese. There you go. Toya, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Uh, Hilti, you, Hilti, you just got to come back down, you know, at least I don't live on the West coast, so it won't take you an entire literal day to get here. Just half of one. Um, so French onion soup at the uh, Outback. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, here, let's look at the menu. Sure. Let's, let's look at, let's look at Tampa. Let's see. Where's the, that's the West shore one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's look at that one. Cause that's, that's like the flagship one. Cause like, okay. So let's, let's, let's zoom in here for a second. 
So this is the airport. This is this is that this is this particular outback steakhouse restaurant. And this is the steeple. <clears throat> this like around here, this is where Outback headquarters, where Bloom and Brands headquarters is. This is where it is. So this is basically their flagship store. That it just got built like f four years ago, four or five years ago. I guess it had to be like five. Well, I guess it's been a few years now because it was before I started working with Lolly. Anyway, the point is, it's it's newish. How many Outbacks do we have? Oh, oh, friend, <laughs> we have several. But again, headquarters is here, so we have several. Anyway, so let's look at the menu at like the flagship one. All right, so let's go to, is this a, this is a PDF, isn't it? No, or, or is this an actual website? Okay, let's go to new seasonal features. It's Steakmas season, everyone. Merry Steakmas. Yeah, the broccoli is the broccoli is there to make you not feel so bad about it. Looks flash based. The star of steak mist, the bone in ribeye with bourbon onion, a juicy eighteen ounce bone in ribeye, extra marbled for maximum tenderness, topped with a caramelized Jim Beam bourbon onion and bacon oh roasted gosh. garlic butter. Service choice of steakhouse potato and a side. Add I feel the weirdest tingle. Tom, you can add bacon butter to any steak for a buck ninety nine. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Deep fake broccoli. It's real. I'm not gonna eat it, but it's real. Oh, I'll eat it. Mm. I'll eat the shit out of it. The bloomin' fried shrimp, which I really want to try. I really want to try the bloomin' fried shrimp. I'm not sure who it was at one <clears throat> point that stood up in a meeting and was like what if we just put this breading on other stuff? Whoever the fuck that is, God bless them. God fucking bless them. We do have an ad starting. So we're just going to keep looking at the menu here. Deep freight broccoli. Nice. That's, that's, that is actually a good band name. Um, <clears throat> but all they do is like really terrible impressions of the chop and broccoli song from that Dana Carvey did for his SNL uh audition uh let's see yeah so tender bite size shrimp hand breaded with our famous bloom and onion spices and cooked until golden brown drizzled and served with our signature spicy bloom sauce then they have mac and cheese bites now oh zam found food well done zam what'd you get zam zam what'd you get is it bird seed that's that's not zam food that's, that's for your birds that's for birds zam. yeah Let's see, filled with macaroni, asiago, mozzarella, and parm. Served with house-made ranch dressing. Toast, egg, cheese, egg, cheese, toast. That sounds like a sandwich of some kind. B.A. start. Now <laughs> 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 <clears throat> oh, Let's see. And then they have the gingerbread cookie martini with absolute Bailey's and Kahlua. Handshaking with flavors of creamy vanilla and gingerbread. So it's... It, okay. Yeah, that's... Sure. Sure. So that's like a white Christmas Russian, is what that is. The Pepperidge Farm gingerbread cooking. And, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Smoked cinnamon pecan you know old-fashioned. Pepperidge Farm cookies, Viv. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <clears throat> trying to piss off a duck <laughs> ah. doing that's not all it's quacked up to be you know then there's new and on the nice list is the bloomin french onion sirloin a signature center cut sirloin topped with melted provolone and bloomin onion petals served with choice of steakhouse potato and a side my choice of steakhouse potato is yes yeah, that's true that's true it's Every year for uh, for their anniversary, Tom and Allie Beth go to the famous restaurant where he gets several forms of potato to go with his steak. 
and mm-hmm. he comes back a very happy boy. Three to four ways. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's that French onion soup and its signature French onion soup crock. You're legally obligated to sell or to serve French onion soup in a crock like this, and you cannot serve anything else in this crock. Uh, let's see. Then there's the kings and pasta, which is, oh, I don't know if that was, I think Reverse. that that might have gone away. Reverse. That might have gone away and come back. Mean? Being the pasta that has oh. the steak and shrimp in it is back. Yeah. And this time it's out for blood. <laughs> in the- see, there's the wedge salad. Um, which it's a wedge salad. It is what it is. It's that's that one's always around. Here we go. The chocolate tower. I never understood <clears throat> the appeal of a wedge salad. Yeah, it's mostly for show. A massive slice of chocolate heaven, a towering six layer chocolate cake with whipped cream and chocolate shavings served with raspberry sauce. Add a scoop of rich vanilla ice cream for only two ninety nine. Love a dinner of just several kinds of potatoes and various sauces. That's Tom's dream dinner right there. Put my dick in that cake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to put my dick in it. I wanted to put its dick in me. I want to. <laughs> I want to. I want to freeze it in the winter and skate on it. And in the spring, I want to. I want it to melt and drink it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, that's the. Uh, that's the steak miss menu. At the uh, the flagship outback, so um, honestly, really excited about trying this steak here, the uh, the yep. bone in ribeye with the bourbon onion on it. I don't usually go for the bone in, but uh, I think I'm like an exception. Yeah, why do you keep a flagship outback? It's in case you need a fast getaway, Jonas. You don't put it out front, then it's kind of showboating. But if you put the flagship out back, you have it. You know it's there. It's nice. And it makes for a quick getaway. <clears throat> blue cheese dressing conveyance. <laughs> it's a great way to stay in shape. That's true. Wedge salad is a blue cheese dra- dressing conveyance. Yes. It's the vegetable version of chicken wings. It's just a delivery mechanism for, for dressing. So is a kitchen sponge. It's also a great conveyance for blue cheese. That's... Tom is not a fan of blue cheese. Neither is Bean fucking mold yeah well that's cheese cheese will do that sometimes pal yeah and then you throw it the fuck away anyway that's steak miss uh zam we are looking at this because we went down a rabbit hole and now we are just looking at chain that's food a great question, sam. that's <laughs> I'm, that's actually but it is a it is a very good question i i honestly i cannot tell you how it started um but it literally just plays that little uh were you here like a second ago when there was like a reverse card but it looked all piratey yeah that, yeah that's yeah 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 that's that's all it does that's all it does here i i'll i'll give you i'll give you a free one jonas reverse reverse that's what reverse does that's it. That's the whole thing. And the reverse is just a reverse. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> it makes me talk backwards for 30 seconds. I couldn't talk backwards for 30 milliseconds. I don't know how to talk backwards for 30 seconds. Hey, Mochi, you should get food now. It is It is like Den's time, in fairness. Oh, right. I always forget Mochi is like, Mochi lives in the past. Yeah, Mochi lives in the past. So does Nine. Whereas Hilti lives in the future, but not like Dom in the future. Just a little in the future is a treat. Hilti only lives a uh, an hour into the future. That's because he lives in New Scotland, you see. Yeah, Tom is, Tom is smart. Sometimes. And then there's the regular menu up here. They do have the new Tim Tam brownie cake, which is like... The brownie, the peanut butter mousse, the chocolate mousse, the caramel sauce, and then the Tim Tam cookies on top, which is pretty neat. They are a Coca-Cola establishment because they have good taste. You know, the thing about Tim Tams, 
Oh, good. My darling wife is here. Hey, uh, hey, Miss um, Allie Beth. There's a, a Tim Tam brownie cake at the Outback. Um, the, the, the uh, yeah, she had a Turkish delight flavored Tim Tam in her life, and she didn't hate it. Did it not taste like deodorant? Steak, Mrs. Nye. That's right. Tis the season for steak, Miss Miss Sally Beth. Single worst thing I've ever eaten. You know what's great? Turkish delight. You know what's great about steak, Miss? No Turkish delight. No, that too. Wait a minute. Why is the uh? Like <laughs> you know what two things are great about steak? <laughs> This is like a, uh, Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. It's a way for me to enjoy a holiday. And like, yes, it's like Christmas, but it's just about eating. It is just about the eating part, which is really what I'm here for. Brian, look at the front page of Twitch and saw a big Outback advertisement. Yes, I'm going to live stream a visit to Outback. Brian, you missed, listen. Buddy, you missed the, uh, you missed it earlier. We were, uh, we were looking at the Olive Garden. We were talking about never ending pasta bowl. So, so that was a thing. Did I tell you about like the super strange way in which we were greeted? <laughs> Brian, thank you again for 23 months, pal. <laughs> uh, my last trip to the garden. No, please, please regale us. Reverse. So, reverse. We uh, you know, we walk in as you do, mm -hmm. and you know, there was nobody at the hostess station at first, and then the lady walks up looking kind of flustered, and she was like, "Oh, are you guys here uh, to join a man?" And then like a pause, like a dramatic pause, and another man. I remember. I do remember you telling us, telling me this. Yes. I was like, well, wait, are they buying? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like if okay. if these if these two men that are together are buying food, then yes, I'm here for them. Um, like, Lead the way. <laughs> she seemed really disturbed by their presence, and I never saw whoever it was she was talking about. But if they were there in a couple's capacity, uh huh. You would have to think she had seen that at least once before. Right? You would. Like it shouldn't. It shouldn't be rattling you. You would at this think. Point, no matter your belief system. Yeah, like it's 2023. <laughs> there are yeah, gay people just, out there in the world, folks. <laughs> like it's, it's going to really happen. Fucking, really strange. It was just, Fantastic. Anyway, never an impossible. Great. Mary Steakmas. To all those who celebrate, which is mostly me and Tom. And, um, yeah. Uh, in some places, Zam, it is, which is horrifying. Which is just actually horrifying. Anyway. I still don't. I still don't remember how we went from the Florida Man games to the Olive Garden, but here we are. Actually, I'm not the even... Olive Garden was interrupted with Florida Man games, and then we went back. Was it okay? I listen. I can't remember. That is true. Oh, I gotta fix the. Uh, I gotta fix the news bar. News bar's got uh, incorrect stuff on it. Let's see. All right, news bar. Go do th go do news bar things. I think I, I think I fixed it. Go news bar. Go. Go news bar. No. Go news bar. Go. Um. Go ninja. Woof. Go ninja. Go. There it is. Ninja, there it is. Go, he knows. Ninja, he knows what I'm. He knows what I'm talking about. Um. So yeah. Uh. Once again, for those of you who weren't able to make it here earlier, the big announcement is I have been chosen for the Live Space Boost program. I will be uh, simulcasting on Live Space starting Boost? in the next 
next couple of weeks. Um, uh, if you haven't created an account on LiveSpace, you can do it there. Um, and then my, uh, my channel on LiveSpace is there. Um, I would appreciate it if you gave me a follow. Um, I am, I'm am very excited to be able to take a hundred percent revenue split for the next, uh, 12 months starting in December. Um, I honestly, that's, that is, that's huge. That is a huge, huge thing for me. <clears throat> um, we're also trying to hit a thousand followers here on Twitch before the end of the calendar year. So we've got about six and a half weeks, uh, almost seven weeks, I guess about seven weeks. Yeah. Uh, to do that, um, also have a new sub goal here. Um, I'm trying to get a new camera, a second camera to put up here so I could do things like perhaps the crochets, learning how to crochet and doing Lego and stuff like that. Cause I just want to be like Zam when I grow up and do crafty things on my desk. Cause Zam is my, he's my role model and I just want to be like him. I already have the yelling and, and swearing at stuff thing down. So I just have to lose all of my hair and get a bunch of birds. I have to increase my angry by 6,900%. <laughs> There's Ali Beth. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, when people say things and they type things in chat and then you can hear it in their voice. <laughs> that's, that's one of them. Uh, I could hear that in Miss Allie Beth's voice, uh, in her, her sweet little Oklahoma accent. Bless your heart. Oh, uh, bless my little pay pick and a heart. Um, so yeah, big goals, big stuff going on. Very, very excited. Um, I'm feeling very, uh, very fortunate to have, um, a lot of great folks here. Um, say that you're chuffed. Oh, I am massively chuffed. Yes, definitely Fantastic. not gutted. Not at all gutted. Oh, good. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm majorly chuffed. So, um, thank you all again for all of your support thus far. Um, oh, that reminds me. Uh, hey, Tom, you had asked me a question on the, in a sidebar on the last stream. Mm -hmm. What was that question? Enchantment. Enchantment. What was the other question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to answer the first one, yes, enchantment. <laughs> stream anniversary. Stream anniversary. So, stream anniversary is coming up. Um, and stream anniversary always happens. Hello, hi, hidden. Uh, stream anniversary always happens at the end of November. Like the actual day is the end of November, but because that occurs like right around Thanksgiving, we always do stream anniversary at the beginning of December. Uh, I am working on trying to figure out when I will do stream anniversary this year. Um, it might be in December. I might push it to January. We might do like a new year kickoff stream anniversary extravaganza. I don't know. I might combine it with, um, with my affiliate anniversary, which is in mid January. So Sunders rocking new year. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Sunders rocking new year. Yeah. Or Zunders Zunders walking new year. Um, where I just pull out a walk and make a bunch of stir fry. It'll be great. Oh, I thought um, you meant like Christopher Walken. Uh, oh. I'm just gonna do, just do the whole thing for twelve hours as Christopher Walken. Do the whole stream like this the whole time. It'll be great. Everyone will love it. No, no one will love that except well, you might. Um, hi, Karen. I bet you get a lot of clips. I would get a lot of clips out. Of that. That's true. That's true. Hi, Karen. Uh, Zam, go sh go shower and go lay down, buddy. Um, also. Zam, DM me after stream. Hope this helps. I will. I will ping you after stream, though. Um, yeah. yeah, you DM him to make sure he DMs you. Yeah, hey, write that down. Um, <clears throat> I will. I, I. I will not be doing cosplay. I will not be doing cosplay. Um, Boo, coward! 
I don't have anything for it. And, You've got and three I just, months of notice. I just it's not three months, it's two mm, at most. We get to it. Anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna be doing cosplay, not yet. Boob and <laughs> God damn it, Ali Ben. Uh She's right. Green bodysuit nope, can't be that hard to get. That's, Why are you booing her? She's right. Yeah. A green bodysuit. Green bodysuit is one thing. Green bodysuit in my size, that's that's a different story altogether. We'll just green screen me for the whole thing. That's it. The whole thing is just a green screen. That's what I'll do. Yeah, and then and then we'll invite Jason Lamb in. That's what I'll do. I'll just I'll just I'll do uh it'll be a ghost stream. So I'll do, I'll put on the green bodysuit and wear one of the robes. And it's just like, like a, like just the ghost in the chair, just the, the robe ascension has taken over the stream. That's what we'll do. No, we're not doing that. That's no, absolutely. Um, anyway, uh, I got to figure out when stream anniversary is, um, just because there's been so much going on. Uh, I don't have anything planned for it yet. I I would like to do a fundraiser again, and if I do, uh, I will wait until after the first of the year to do that. <clears throat> See, Jonas likes that idea. All right, fine. Jo me and Jonas like that idea. <clears throat> um, Ooh, it's time to punch a reporter. Are you going to punch the reporter? Uh, listen, if you I'm ever play Mass Effect, reporter. play Mass Effect punch, 1, you punch always Twitter. punch the reporter. Okay. There, there are some, there are some very, there are very few hard rules in video games, right? Number one, in Super Metroid, you save the animals. You save the animals. You save the animals in Super Metroid. Number two, you punch the reporter. I don't care if you're doing a full Paragon run, you punch the reporter. And you always pet the dog. You always pet the dog. Mm -hmm. Fun's on a foot long rotisserie chicken with pepperoni from Subway with extra buffalo and sweet onion teriyaki. Tay, that sounds fucking incredible, pal. Save the animals so you can have. You don't barbecue these animals. Their home planet's being destroyed because a bunch of like space pirates have come in and taken over the entire planet and are trying to clone this parasitic life form to use to conquer the galaxy. Anyway, the point is you save the animals, you punch the reporter and you pet the dog. In some cases, petting the dog is the best thing you can do in a video game. For example, can I pet that dog? <laughs> For example, in what is it, Tom? Is it Tropico six? Is that the one with the six? Huh? What's the one with Teresa, the little weenie dog with the wheels? Far Cry 6. A oh, Far Cry 6. I'm sorry. Far Cry 6. They have a they have a dachshund, a little dachshund puppy with little wheelies on the back because he doesn't have he doesn't have his back legs and his name is Teresa. And that's just You can't pet the dog in Tears of the Kingdom. 0 out of 10, literally unplayable. And punch the little lizard animal thing animal lizard things in two. Uh, that's okay. No one no one will no one will know Mochi. We, I won't tell anyone. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. Falcon Launch. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and before it's always junk and forever and technique and listen, Tay, sometimes for your mental health, sometimes you gotta splurge just a smidge. You can pref that's true. Yes. Tao, the wolf dog thing that's in Paleo, you can befriend it now. He's a good boy. And his person is an ass. But Tao's a very good boy. He loves pets. Ah. Oh, yep. Oh, so let's see. Yeah. Um, I got uh a poet and an ass. That's amazingly the uh, the center part of that Venn diagram is 
a lot larger than most, Tay. <clears throat> um, so, as for the rest of the night, I still got some time. I got time. Um, I don't know what I want to... Here's my conundrum. Because we've been talking about stuff for the last two and a half hours. Uh, a couple hours, at least. You know, plus countdown. Whatever. The point is, we've been here for a couple hours. We've talked about the stream stuff. Uh, we've talked about the... Uh, we've talked about Never Ending Postable and Steakmas. We've talked about the Florida Man games. If I start up a game, I want to. It's going to be something that I probably won't carry over because I'm not going to be here on Sunday. Um, so I won't be streaming again until Tuesday. Can I pet that dog? Okay. You know what you can play? Pocket pool. Okay. Oh, she's in her. Oh, there she is. I found Loaf. She's in the igloo. I was gonna say you could play Vacuum Warrior, but Pocket Pool would work, you know. Vacuum Bond Warrior. Style. I don't. I gotta go make sure that my. Uh, I gotta go plug in my. Um, uh, my ally and make sure that Steam is synced up because I did some Vacuum Warrior on it recently, and I don't want to lose that progress, you know. Did I check out that website you sent me? Uh, hold please. Hold please. Um, okay. I saw that you sent that, and yes, I'm familiar with it hidden. Um, that's not a... So not tonight, but that's something that I would like to do for a community game night. Which, by the way, community game nights are coming back. I don't know when, but community game nights are coming back. Y'all, we are very overdue for a Mario Kart night, and Wave 6 just came out this week. I told you. I, I'm not here to tell you again. I'm here to tell you. I, you got you to tell you again. Anyway, what's Mario Kart? It's There's, there's like this... There's an Italian, he drives around, and he litters, and that's basically the game, Sam. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Mario Kart 8 just came out with the Wave 6 stuff, the new tracks. Uh, let's actually, while I'm thinking about it... And let's go look at Wave 6 and see what we've got here. Um... Where is Sh Fuck it, let's just is this from Nintendo? Yeah, fuck it, let's just watch it. Let's just uh let's just watch the oh. goddamn thing. Okay, so we got eight new courses. There's a there's a rainbow road. That's, oh, we rainbow road. That's we rainbow road. Idiot. Okay. I was like, what rainbow road is this? It's it's we rainbow road. Hope this helps. I don't know. It looks pretty big. God. That only counts when Louis says it. Glamorous synth beat. I love that so much. Yeah, this Rainbow Road's gonna be hell. In Mario Kart, we're not family. That's correct. Especially in this fucking house, Mochi. Tour Madrid, okay. What the hell was Mario Kart Tour? That's the mobile game that's got tracks inspired oh. by, like, real-life places. Daisy Circuit. And Piranha Plant Cove. Wait a wait a minute. What real place is that? 
SNES Bowser Castle oh, 3. Bowser's Castle. Rome. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Rosalina's Ice World from 7 from the 3DS. Okay. Okay, so we get that. Wow. Okay, let's let's just let's Okay. Birdo's here, which I think Birdo came out in the last wave, I'm fairly sure. Uh it's okay, so it's it's included with Nintendo Switch Online. You have to have a Nintendo Switch Online or you have, have you have to have bought the booster course pass. But if you have Nintendo Switch Online, which you have to have for online play anyway, then it comes with it. And Mario's clean up Bowser's time mess. Uh, there was also, yeah. Then there was Mario was missing, which was weird. Wasn't Wiggler a bike you could ride anyway? Yeah, there is a, there is a Wiggler cart, so I imagine you can now have a Wiggler riding a Wiggler, which, oh boy, oh boy. Do we? And put a wiggler on a wiggler so you can ride, so you can wiggle while you wiggler. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Funky Kong, Peachette, which is just like that. Just seems like what's the point? Like, congratulations, you just gave Peach the Toadette hairstyle. Like, come on, come on. You're you're running out of you're running out of fucking characters. Give me Bowser, you cowards. They are not... No, they are not... They are not going to give you... They are not going to give you Bowser. Um, they gave us Bowser, and then Mochi immediately mods Mario Kart to import Zowzet instead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Pauline is actually Mario's original girlfriend before Peach and before Princess Toadstool. Justice for Princess Toadstool, by the way. That's, that's, yeah. that was, no, back in the, like, the Donkey Kong days, Hidden, uh, back when, like, Mario made his debut in Donkey Kong, in the original Donkey Kong arcade game, Pauline is the one that Donkey Kong kidnaps that Mario has to go and rescue. Is in Princess Peach Toadstool. Out, they are, uh, they're sexually incompatible, so it didn't last. Peach is Princess Toadstool, but they changed her fucking name and they changed her fucking hair color, and I'm pissed off about it. And I've been pissed off about it for the last 25 fucking years. Really? It doesn't show. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so Pauline was from that. God, and then wasn't so wasn't glad. like uh wasn't like wasn't Pauline like a major part of the plot in um in Super Mario Odyssey? Yep. Okay. That's what I thought. She She's the mayor of New Donk City. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yep. Donk. Yep. No, no, it's, it's, it's actually a thing. You're not even. It's not even. No, I'm not even doing a bit on that one. Nope. Nope. New Donk City. That's not even fucking made up. <clears throat> anyway, change my hair color and call you as L stool. No, absolutely not, Mochi. An arcade game was terrible, but you're well. Listen, everybody was terrible at it. That game was brutal. That still just sounds like his poop. Ah, uh, and we get Diddy Kong. We get Diddy Kong now in Mario Kart, which means there are Diddy Kong Racing is officially dead because <laughs> we just have Diddy I Kong know. in Mario Kart now. It's like that's the best you're getting, you assholes. Get over it. I'm so depressed. <laughs> I know. I know. Like. Lolly has always been like the like I've always been a Mario Kart per it's 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 like it's like the Mortal Kombat versus the Killer Instinct thing but like the kids are it's just the kids fighting in the house instead of like kids in the neighborhood fighting each other it's so it's like you're either a Mario Kart person or you're one of those chaos people that it's a Diddy Kong racing person and Lolly in his love of chaos is a Diddy Kong racing person <sighs> I don't need gun. I got a donk. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So there we go. 
Uh, it was by my the way, sixty four game, so I love it. By the way, trans icon Birdo, love that. So there we go. So yeah, so okay, so the booster, the 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 booster pass is either twenty five bucks on its own, which gets you everything, or uh, it's included with Nintendo Switch Online. So. See, Tay was a Diddy Kong racing person, but Tay, you also enjoy chaos, so that makes sense. That tracks for you. Oh, Diddy Kong was a better game. Yes, yeah, so Nintendo Switch Online and the expansion pack is what includes the booster course pack, the happy home thing from Animal Crossing, the Splatoon expansion shit, and then all of like the the emulated shit. Like Genesis and Game Boy Advance and N64 and all that fucking shit. And Mochi, I had forgotten there was even a Kirby Racing game. I completely forgot about that. And watch, watch. Hiltzy's going to bust in here in 0. 0.2 seconds and be like, I didn't forget. And Hiltzy's our resident Kirby expert. So yeah. You have Switch Online with the expansion pack. It gets you all of the shit. Donkey Kong 64 fan. I never played Donkey Kong 64. I played the hell out of Donkey Kong Country, though. Hell, I played it here. I played Donkey Kong Country on stream. Wait, um, so you don't know about the DK rap? I do know about the DK rap. I just never played it. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah DK. Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's the leader of the bunch. Yeah. Donkey Kong is here. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's the Mario Kart Wave, Mario Kart Eight Wave Six stuff. The point is, we are going to do a Mario Kart Night soon. I don't know when it is, but we will do it. I will post it in the Discord once again. If you are not in the Discord, get in the Discord because this is where I post all the important announcements. Um. So yeah, that's uh, that's coming up here in the next. It'll be before Christmas. We're gonna do. We're gonna do it before Christmas. Get in the Discord, Shinji. Uh, one where you could play multiple DK characters. Um, I mean, in Donkey Kong Country, you could swap between Donkey and Diddy. DK64 was the only one that required an expansion pack for the 64 to play once, so it was packaged with the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that was packaged with it. One of my jobs, a co worker found out he liked a game, and every day she told me in Donkey Kong Country with her brother, told me. On gun, um, Donkey Kong. She decided we were bonding. Hey, there was another game that required the expansion pack. It was one, The Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask. I I haven't heard of that game. I don't I don't know. No, never. No, I don't think so. Is that you don't know is, anyone that likes it? Is that some kind of a salad dressing? I'm not sure. Yes. What, oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's a soup. Uh, who was I talking to about this? Um. Oh, there's another streamer I follow, Avi. Uh, let me see if I can hold, please. I'm gonna do 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 do. do. Let me shout out Avi real quick because she's great. Um, she actually played. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she played Super Metroid for the first time, which she she likes Metroid games quite a bit, but she had never played Super Metroid, and she finally started playing it um, yesterday, I think. Anyway, uh, Avi was uh... oh Tom, I think she I think she used to be in the Nook, um, but um, Avi was talking about she was talking about the ship. And, uh, she's like, yeah, she's like, they finally started like getting like working builds of Majora's mask in the ship of Harkinian. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry. Don't you mean a two ship to Harkinian? Yeah. <laughs> I love that they did that. I do too. It's I do so too. Good. Like it's, they have to keep it that way. There's no, like, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Fuck it. Ship it. It's, it's done. Matt, get it. Ship it. <laughs> yeah. Mom pulled her shoulder out of place playing Donkey Kong Country 3 with you. Sorry, before. But I, listen, take a buddy, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh, we do have ads starting in about three minutes. Um, so here's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Uh, 
Oh. What? We haven't uh, discussed the news of the day. What's the news of the day? A release date for update 8 of Satisfactory. Mm, 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 mm. November 14th. What? Oh, hold on a second. Oh. That said it with his snit hole. And if Snut said it, you can believe it. I believe everything that man has ever said. That's fair. Take that. That's to the bank. Let's see. Have we already discussed the Zelda movie thing? Jonas, they're not making a Zelda movie, so there's nothing to discuss. Isn't that right, Lollipop? It it They already they're made making, one. It's called Wand of Gamelon. <laughs> <laughs> Said, I actually said that in stand-up today. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what... Uh, serious, no, it's live action, so I have zero faith in it. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens, but no, we have not discussed it yet. We haven't. Um, so, all right. After their casting choice for the Mario movie, I don't give a fuck. They Well, look at that. So, um, I guess the update to Unreal 5 is... What are they on? 5.1 is what they are on? Is it 5.1 or 5.2? No, I guess 5.2. No. Anyway, the point is... The point is... Um, I started playing... When I started playing Satisfactory... Um, I was really looking forward to Update 8. Because I had only played a little bit of it. And then update eight came out and that's when I was obsessed with it for about, what was that? About a month I was playing it or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and boy, howdy, that was just, whoo, just mwah. beautiful, beautiful. Ah. Uh. Steve Buscemi is Link and Nicolas Cage is Zelda. <laughs> Done. I'll watch it. Fuck it. Now I'll watch it. Now I'll watch it. But you have to keep Nick Cage as Zelda. No Zelda movie is a real Zelda movie. And Link says, well, excuse me, princess. That's true. Uh, right before starting non she was playing Mortal Kombat 2. She's getting on me moving around so much while I was playing. Started on she's get the level that has the giant lumberjack saw under you trying to split your ass crack more. That's yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I just I don't know. We'll uh I don't know. I'm interested to see because they haven't like I know we have like it's gonna be a Netflix, right? And we have a director attached to it, do we not? And for the Zelda movie? Yeah, that director also did the Mo like Morbius movie and stuff, if I remember correctly. So that's not a we're not off to a good start. Oh, oh. The Zelda movie is based on the Teen Biker Link storyline. Oh my god. <laughs> teen Girl Squad. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's more <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, that's that's no, that's. I know, I I I know, Jonas. I know. Um, let's see. Later. So, <laughs> the ugly one. Uh, okay. Here's what I think I might do for the rest of stream. Um, violent masturbation. Listen, just because I'm starting on another platform doesn't mean I want to get kicked off the one I'm already on. <laughs> um. How long is the rest of the stream? I don't know, like... Probably, Until it's done. <clears throat> Until the job's done. Probably another hour. So, 
another minute. Yeah. No, that's that's only that's only for the uh uh that's only for the violent masturbation part. As you <laughs> any percent. Any oh boy. Oh boy. Uh so I'm probably let me I might code. Um I might work on the, the new sidebar over there because I like I I'm, I'm pretty attached to the way it looks over there right now, but I want to build in extra stuff because right now the way it works is there's that's just plain text. I think that the time is a web page. That's an image source, and this is a web page source down here, and this is all OBS. Like this is this is all sources in OBS. I would like one browser source to encompass all of this. <laughs> yes, Mochi. Mochi, you stop that. <laughs> no Teen Squirrel Squad movie is a real Teen Girl Squad movie unless it's someone as Shakespeare. <laughs> and and Fritz, they have to be arrowed, arrowed and Shakespeare, both. Otherwise. It's not even a real Teen Girl Squad movie. It's at that point, it's like legally distinct adolescent woman group film or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, let me let's save this file so I have something to work with. Hey, I had a thought. Congratulations. Yeah, it's a dangerous thing. Oh, boy. Um, you know how you can see the time till your next ad break now? Yes. Can you put that on the page? I might be able to put that on there. Um, okay, so here's, here's the thing with that. <clears throat> We're supposed to be getting an API for that soon. Um... Uh, Alka, didn't that come out in beta like last week? I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, we're supposed to be, yeah, there's the ad. There's the ad schedule. So get ad schedule. Snooze count, snooze refresh at, next ad at. <gasps> food's there. Mochi, enjoy your foods. Go eat copious amounts of whatever uh, the hell it is you got. Love you, Mochi. Mochi's got the appropriate per, uh, priorities. Well, I mean, honestly, honestly. Um, so yeah, they just added a beta endpoint to the Twitch API that will tell us when the next ad will be, <clears throat> um, and like how long it'll be and things like that, which is great. I just don't have anything built for that yet. And I don't know if I can embed cause I would have to like iframe in the current like timer thing that I get. So I don't know if I would be able to iframe that in. It might not let me. It might just tell me to go fuck myself because it's in an iframe. Um, oh, well. Yeah, never that's... have problems iframing things before. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've never had that problem. We've only been doing it for like four years now. <laughs> God, right? Uh, I'm barely missing getting hit before we save yourself and catch up with me. Well, she just couldn't make the jump starts moving with I'm trying to get him. Oh no! Oh yeah! There, there. <laughs> <clears throat> well done. Two sides of the same idiot. <laughs> yep. You, you, it's like it's it's like how Pernt and Lafay describe each other. They are two halves of a whole idiot. Uh So yeah, there's there is an API for it that is out in beta. Um, I would have to build out a thing for it. I like the idea of being able to see that because like ad breaks, I kind of need ad breaks. Um, it disables pre-rolls so that when people come in, they don't get pre-rolls, um, especially for like raids and shit, but also, um, the, um, what am I trying yeah. to say? The the revenue that I get from running ad breaks is 
like the channel doesn't we're not we're not generating yeah alka go ahead go ahead pal like we're not generating a shit ton of money here at the Thunderstream, right like um i'm i'm getting enough to put money back into the stream um yes we are generating cents here no the uh the the revenue that the channel makes from ads is non-trivial um like let me go look and see what the current is like right now ads are ads are about six per six to seven percent of what i'm what i'm getting out of this um on average um sometimes as high as like anywhere between like six to ten percent so <laughs> <clears throat> when you generate sense God. that's that's tom's job around here what combining chats and implementing with his flatulence the key logo at the top Ooh, ooh, alka i like that i like that design I like that design quite a bit. That's good. Um, God, I I really wish we were further along with Firebot version six. I would. I need. Oh God. Ah. Uh, anyway. Um, so. I keep the ads here because it disables pre-rolls so that people can come in and not have to watch an ad um, before they join in on stuff, unless we're already in the middle of an ad break, which at that point, it's the same thing anyway. <clears throat> um, but also because, again, I mean, I get a decent split off of this because I'm doing like the minimum three minutes per hour, which honestly isn't a lot in the grand scheme um i mean hell you watch a tv show and in a 30 minute tv show 21 to 22 minutes of the show is actually the show and eight to nine minutes of that is advertising so you're talking about anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes an hour of television is advertising um so three minutes an hour I personally, I don't think is bad and it helps me do other stuff with the channel and invest some time here and, and, you know, pays for things like eventually getting this camera up here. Um, but I would like to have some better notification of that. So yes, I like that idea very much. I just have to build out the, uh, I have to build out the, thing for that if that makes sense i could so here's the, here's a fun thing about firebot i always see you with the moment you get a dangerous and stupid idea yeah yeah that's right here pal right here dangerous and stupid ideas all day long so Firebot has a thing where we can um, we can do an API, like we can do like a, a custom HTTP request, right? <clears throat> and we can do gets posts puts patches and deletes actually i think i added a couple of those for shit um but one of the options that we have is to include the twitch authorization header which means that the the stuff that we passed to, i'm going to change the category fuck it i guess now we're coding aren't we all right let's go Software and game development. Uh, all right. 
There we go. God damn you, Alka. God damn you. Um, where's the lower third? Coden. Coden. Um, two streamers were essentially just struggling, both were complaining of additional stuff they want to do. I'm about to do that and definitely that and neither was enthusiastic about trying out yet another thing while they were transitioning. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's tough when you're moving stuff around. Like for me, I didn't have a whole lot implemented because I was using the uh I was using the Streamlabs chatbot when I first got started. I didn't know about Firebot. Um and I didn't have a whole lot implemented because I started switching to Firebot less than a year in. Cause Tom had heard about it and told me about it, and that's when I started looking into it. And seeing what all it could do, um, and it's really weird that you didn't even know about your own product. You shut your mouth. Um. So, yeah. Um. But anyway, F Firebot does a thing where it includes the Twitch authorization. He it can include the Twitch authorization header in a request, which means if there is some beta thing or something that's not implemented in Firebot and we want to query the Twitch API directly, we check a box and the same authorization that we use for the streamer account in Firebot to do all of the magic that we do talking to Twitch, you can do for your own custom thing. And I can actually hit this API and get a response back. So like, If I want to get, let me do, I'm going to do a preset list. Let's do, call it, get Twitch add get schedule. Uh, I'm going to do, I guess I could show myself doing, working on this. Um, and everything yourself. Yeah. Well, so normally I would, but s I have so much shit in Firebot now, and I just keep adding fucking features to Firebot because that's what I do now. I just keep adding features to Firebot. Um, so let's go. But if you stopped adding features to Firebot, I'm pretty sure you would make CKY cry. Like he would show up at your doorstep and cry. He probably would. He probably would. He likes when I add stuff to it. And yeah, this is my life now. It's just adding. See, we have this thing. Automatically includes an authorization error with a streamer's Twitch access token only used when calling the Twitch API. So I can do this and I can get the ad schedule. And then what this will do is this will actually put it out into, let's just call this Twitch ad schedule. Just so I have it, let's copy that. Save, add, and save that here. Okay. Look at this checkbox should be automatically detected. So the thing about it, Alka, is that so few people use, like, query the Twitch API manually because Firebot has so much shit in it that already does it. That's such a power user feature that the time to actually put that in is just like, fuck it, I don't want to. That's just a lot of, that would be a lot of work on me because I would be the only one who would take the time to do it and I just don't want to. Like, could I? You would I could. Dollar to do it. Uh, no, no, I don't want, no. No, I don't. One whole dollar. I don't want to, I don't want to do it. Okay, I'll add a dollar to the pot, but you also have to uh, lick the shoe. Uh, no, no. But Alka, that means that I still have to do work. <laughs> that would still be work that I would have to do. And I don't want to do that. 
<laughs> he quit his last job because of that. He doesn't want to do it. He get back on that train yet. Write a bot that can do the work for you. God. Listen, now you're thinking like a sysadmin. <laughs> yes, but no, god damn it. Uh, all right, now let's go and... Hell, let's just, let's just... Do, 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 do. Um, balls, yes, you can lick mine. Goodbye. Um, all right, let's go. Wow. I killed creative 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, Let's see. When we return a JSON object yeah, no from shit. the thing, it automatically... Well, object walk path. All right, so let's do that. And then this is... Uh, data dot zero dot the time of the year bears just want to eat so they can do big sleep. They don't want to do work. See, Tay gets it. I mean, in fairness, Tay, that's, that's a year round thing for me. It's cause the seasons are fucky here in Florida. You see, um, okay. That's that. Now I want to do, do we have anything that does date math? No. Ice bear needs it for uh. everyday hustling. Faf! Faf, hi, buddy. Faf, how are you, pal? Thank you for eight months. I love you, bud. I hope you're doing all right tonight. Uh, okay, so this is... All right, so this should work. I'm doing. I'm uh I'm fucking with the Twitch API. No, perfect. Nailed it. Uh All right, what's the did, yeah, yeah. Wait. Okay, I want to, let me do, let me do a log message to see what I'm. Console.log. Your face is console.log. All right, Send let's. Called all reliable for a reason. Well, that's fair. All right, error running. Oh, it required it failed with a four hundred. What the hell are you give me a four hundred? Oh, oh, because you touch yourself at night. Oh, right. That's why. Um, what's my broadcaster ID? What's my broadcaster ID? 69420. Oh, yeah. Um. Sex number. Together. <laughs> ah, there it is. Thank you, Alka. Alka has all of his tools ready to go. He's just doing his thing. All right. Alka's Alka's probably got fucking postman open right now or some shit and Alka's got buttons for that and he gets it. Alright, where is uh where's that instance of VS Code? Alright, that runs there. 
This is a 401 now. What the hell is this? Broadcaster ID. Oh, shit. God damn it, they added another fucking scope. Uh, oh, no, Alka... <clears throat> Alka does a lot of work around the Twitch API. He has... He has all kinds of tools and bots and shit. He he does a lot of this stuff, Tay. So he's like he's on top of shit. Uh, okay, I can't do this How now because about seltzer. <laughs> Why are you like this? I don't know. Maybe I was born with it. <sighs> all right, you are just. Let's put that back down here for now. We'll just leave that here. Okay, I can't I can't do anything with that right now. It's it's something that I do want to do and get that, but I can't do it right now because I have to add new I have to add new OAuth scopes to my token because it's just every single fucking day I have to I'll add a scope to your token, buddy. Listen, don't you threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Scope your token real nice. Uh, hi, Texie. Uh, well, now I was going to work on some... harder token, Daddy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Did you know I fucking hate you guys? Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Wait a minute. Batsy, you know Alka? Oh my god. Every single day on this motherfucking platform, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It probably drives you crazy, size queen. Oh, shit. <laughs> I fucking. Oh, this is great. Uh, <laughs> I love it here. Your face is great. Mm, you shut your whore mouth. Alka, that makes a lot of sense, buddy. That makes a lot of sense. All right, where is my hairbrush? All right, sidebar. Um, where's my copious path? Oh, for God's sake, take the quotes out. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, yep. Yeah. Are we making a MySpace page? Yeah. You want a, uh, what what song you want in your MySpace page? Um, I don't know. I was trying to think of something period appropriate, and, uh, it's, it's too late. That's... My brain's not, not going there anymore. Well, the... Uh, chronologically order things. It was great running a random Twitch staff at TwitchCon. Oh, I bet. Your buddy Moses. Okay, listen. That works. Batsy, Batsy, I have also been on Twitch for over a decade, but for like the first nine years of that, I didn't do anything. My accounts are both like 10 and 14 years old, respectively. This isn't even my oldest account. And I regret having started streaming before swapping my usernames around to have my 14 and a half year old Justin TV account be this one, but no, no. It's Justin TV. You just found out we have another new thing in common? Oh Lord. Oh Lord, here we go. A midi of a smashing. <laughs> JTV users rise up. What's my, do I have a? Who's yeah. Justin, and why are we looking at his TV? Don't worry about it. It's fine. I I wouldn't worry about it. What the fuck is a JTV? Justin.tv is what became Twitch. It was Justin was one of the co-founders of Justin TV, and then it became Twitch, and then Amazon bought Twitch later, and it's just and Justin was just a, was a guy who was on TV a lot. It's true. It sounds old. Yes, hidden. It is old. Now it's 
Quamazon. Now it's now it's Quamazon. <laughs> you too will have a oh. wee baby niece. Look at you go, Batsy. Look at you. Where's Muscle my thing? Look at you go. Wait, no, that's, that's not the one I want. I want this one. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, that's better. What you really, really <clears throat> want? What? Say what you want, what you really, really want. Huh? Uh, we got a, do the countdown. Yeah, let's go. Fucking, let's do this. Okay. I want that. This from the countdown, I want yeah, want that in here. Also, we want overflow hidden, uh, letter spacing. I like that. Okay, the equivalent of I think his name was Tom on MySpace. Um, sure, oh my, don't worry about it, hidden, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, Batsy's gonna be Auntie Dina. Anthony, holy shit, buddy. How are you? Anthony, how's it been, pal? Boy, talk about... Okay, Tom, talk about people from the old, old Twitter days. Remember? Remember on the old Twitter days when we knew people locally because of Twitter? Nope. Nope, you don't. You don't. You never, never met. Heard any, of it. You, you you don't remember meeting anybody in person because of Twitter, do you, buddy? No, that's never happened. That's never happened. Nope, nope. I'm buddy. I'm surviving hard. Same tweet ups and crazy stuff, right? Remember, remember Twitter. No, oh, what was that? I think it was some kind of a salad dressing. Uh, actually, actually, Anthony. Actually, that robe is right here, pal. That robe is right here. It's the centerpiece of my collection. So yes, I do. Actually, in this, I'm out of milk right now, though. I drank all of it. Oh. Oh man. That, that reminds me. What does that remind you I of? Got a free half gallon of milk last week. Ooh, love free milk. How'd you get free milk? Not sure. Not a hundred percent sure. I think. The guy in front of us just didn't get his milk. Ah, I see. And no one noticed. But, like, I purchased a gallon, and then we're, like, unloading the groceries, and I look in one bag, and I pull out another, a half gallon. I was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> where did... Yeah, you know what? Free milk. Free milk. Um. Okay, let's go... Oh, I also want to set up um hmm man hashtag free milk uh, I'm the only one in, in the house that drinks whole milk so <clears throat> I too am the only one a, in the house that drinks whole milk it's been a marathon of milk drinking a lot of milk for one person who isn't you Why are you so angry about that? Not to be confused Ever? with whole milk, which is a, <laughs> a very different thing entirely. Yeah, you're you're thinking of something very different, pal. Okay, I want um, whole milk, whole milk hidden, whole milk. Yeah, full fucking fat milk, not cream, not even half and half, just whole milk. It's fine. Look at confirm, but when you make the last you gotta make one person out of your first Tom not because he's with Arm. Yeah, no, that's that's a very different Tom. Very different. Yeah. Total fat. 
total fuck fat in water. <laughs> that makes me think there's <laughs> bottles of water with chunks of fat floating in it, and I gotta find that water, because that's the tasty goddamn shit. Uh, all right, let's... I need also... Oh, let's go to OBS real quick. Um... Let's go to studio mode and go to my, where is my overlays? Uh, let's see here. You, what is your, how? You're 800 by 933. Hmm, I don't know. I know, Batsy. Batsy, why do you have so many foods that don't like you? What have you done? What did you do to all of those foods? Uh, what's... 260... Hmm. You could. Oh my god, you can eat turkey again? That's huge. That's huge oh. because. What timing? Right? Right? Does that still work? That does still work. I'm going to change that to be a browser thing, too. Just in time, baby. Getting a Cajun turkey from Popeyes. Oh. Oh, I'll be a browser thing. Mm. All of you. Uh, where is what's in base overlays? Oh, it's just, that's just those. Okay, that's just the stuff that goes in them in the content square. One of these days. Well, buddy, I'm glad you. I'm glad you came along. Uh, we do need to catch up. It has been a while, actually. Uh, yeah, we. We should probably talk soon because I'm trying to get something off the ground and uh, I might see what kind of stuff you're into these days. So um, ping me, ping me anywhere, basically. Oh, I'll be around. Oh my. Uh, okay, I got to. Hmm. I, you know what I can do? I can open Photoshop and. Open fucking Photoshop where this layout lives. The thumbs up, nice. Uh, all right, Photoshop, give me the. Wow, where are where the hell is my? Yeah, I haven't looked at this in a while. All right, let's go. Sign work. Twitch. Uh, industry overlay. Is this actually correct? I want to make sure this is correct. Oh god, this is old as shit. But the proportions should be the same. So... Fuck you, locked layer. Ah. Get fucked. That's What's locked you? Heart. Not locked layer. Loch Ness? You're a Loch Ness. <laughs> What's the width of that? 854. Okay, 854. That's my magic number, is 854. So... My I want max width eight fifty four pixels. We're gonna make that min width also. We are just locking that some bitch down. 
Okay, 54. Thank you, Alka. All right. Um, I have a better idea. Uh, we're going to go main, and we're going to put that in here. We'll put this inside of a main. And... Uh... Okay. Oh, right, because that's going to be... Mm. Okay. Let's also go... Can I flex it? The, can I do... Oh, wait, no, it does... Mm. Can I flex at the root level? I don't know. Display flex. Flex. Uh, let's go... Center, justify content, center. Actually, I don't want, I don't want a line item center. I can't do it that way. That's fine. Uh, I guess I could do auto margins. Yeah. Your face is an auto margin. Okay, I can do auto margins, that's fine. I'll auto margin your face. Now let's do this down here. Um All right, I want this to be Let's call that 1500 and see what happens. Okay. Um, I don't know why you're doing this, but let's go and inspect the element here. Wh why? Frickin' wh why? Why are you doing this? Anyway, um, let's go 144, refresh it. Oh, that's better now that ah, uh, mm, uh, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do no. Justify content center. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's wider than I want it to be. Or not as... No. It's not as wide as I want it to be. But we'll figure that out. Let's go to the... The date time thing is a, that's a browser source. So I can go to, oh, where can I go? This is date time too, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's just rip the script out of here. Go stick that down at the bottom of the body. As one does. Okay. Guess I don't need that there if I've got an interval. So that's fine. If it's off by one second, who cares? All right, and then we'll do... All 
All right, now we'll do a div for div class equals date time. And then we'll do some, we can do some spans in here. Why, why am I, why am I doing it that way? Why don't I just combine the goddamn thing together? Why do I have to do things so difficult? Why, why? Why am I like this? What a good looking question. All right, well, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go, we'll just call this an ID. Forget that and put this here. Uh, do I have placeholder here? Yeah, I don't know why I would do it that way. That just seems, that seems silly. ID, date time, dot enter, text equals. All right, now let's go. Our part. Minute part. Meridian part. Where's the where's the little where's the little dotty majig? Dot majig. Okay. And go. Day of week. Month. Date. Year. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we'll do. I don't like a window on load. So we're going to do document on, on content loaded. There we go. We're going to move that down to here. The name of the property you're using to set the content of the element. Did you head on apply directly to the forehead? Probably. Uh, you know what? We're just going to put all that in here. All right, let's see. Uh, get out of here. No one wants you on load. No one even likes you. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Why? Oh, right, right, right. Because that's it's a flex box. Um, flex box one, yeah, flex direction column. All right, let's turn off that for a minute. <clears throat> okay, so that's working. We got the date, I got the time. Uh, let's do. Used to dance nice, Batsy. Uh, date time. Font size. Let's do that at a. That's 72. Let's see what 72 looks like. Uh, 
All right. I feel like I should probably make all of the text center. Mm, no, I'm no. No, I'm Why don't not. You give yourself a checkbox so that you can toggle back and forth between centered and not centered. Shut the fuck up. Listen, you fooled me once. I ain't doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why don't you make a drop down with left, center, and right on your, it? Your face is left, center, and right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But also include the drop down in the CSS. So if it's in the center and you change it to the left, it moves to the left so that you have to go chase it <laughs> <sighs> you're such a you pain should, in the ass you should add a mouse hint you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna do this we're just gonna do this because it's pissing me off mouse hint was one of the gems I found when Rewriting test cases when I first got this job where I work now. Uh huh. They meant tooltip. Oh my god. Mouse hint. Start? Is it start? Is that where? Is that what we do? Is start? I don't know. I don't know how this fucking works. Let's just call it a thousand and be. All right. Why do they keep dropping stuff to the bottom? Oh, wait. Do I have to do it like this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, because I'm doing it, I'm doing it column style, so... Opa column style. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, because I had it backwards. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's good. That's, I mean, it's not exactly right, but it's good. Let's do. That's not bad. What, um, what are we doing here? Oh, I, oh, okay. That's, that's not bad. So. Because that's now source, does the time change time zone of the person viewing it? No, because the browser, it's a browser source that only displays an OBS. So anything that's an OBS is always going to be relative to me. Uh, the well, time, case, the time that's up there now the is a browser source. In. Huh? In that case, you have to add the ET back. Oh, right. I didn't have the ET. 
that, that's that's the thing I forgot. Good, good looking out. You wait. Thanks, Chip. There we go. Ten fifty p.m. ET. Okay, so now it looks like the way it does over there with some formatting differences, but we'll. What are we doing here? Let's do. I guess I could. No. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah? Yep. Mm. Several noises. Uh, oh, boy. You're not kidding. Let's go back into uh, the switch case for the name of the month. An array with index. I know. I listen. This was old, and I threw it together, and I wasn't even listen. I know. I know. So disappointed. Oh, listen. It's I'll. This is very. I'll fix it in post. This is. This is. I copied my old shit code so I can make new shit code. But fine. I guess that's fair. And my day is ruined. Why is your day ruined? No, no, I'm just excited. I had to go to work today. How about you? That's all right. That's, <laughs> that's fair. Wait, you guys Ow. have jobs? <laughs> that was below the belt. Wait, do I have twos or twos? Okay, I do. God damn you, Alka. I mean, you're not wrong. Means I don't need a day of week. That's not a Turian body. I just realized that. Huh, that's funny. You're a Turian body. No, they're... They're kind of skinny little shits. I am... No longer a skinny little shit. Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, uh... I am... I am never ending pasta bowl shaped. <laughs> yes. Who among us, pal? Listen. I like to do things the hard way. Okay, Alka. Not all of us can do smart people things. What he's Wait. saying is, is he's old, and he used to be with it. Like, yeah, that's true. How do I do, do I do all three letter variations for that? Okay, fine. Just gonna. How do I duplicate fucking lines in this thing? Oh, it's control D for duplicate. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mostly blame Alka Hiltzy. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I I almost exclusively blame Alka. Like he's not wrong, but I still blame him anyway. Hilsey's known Alka longer than I have, so he gets it. Okay. Precisely one code. This is going to be the longest line of code ever, and I don't even care. I don't even care. You have a dog tonight. He's a good boy. They're all good. They're all good dogs. 
All right, I don't need the month. Don't no, brunt. Uh, I guess this could be a string too. It's fine. It's fine. You know, I selected well, and selected. I was told there would be no strings attached. Alt shift down arrow is yours. Oh, so Alka, I have mine. I'm pretty sure I still have my VS Code stuff to uh, my keyboard shortcuts to, uh, um, like classic Visual Studio keyboard shortcuts. Because I worked in VS for so long, and I still switch back to it when I need to do like heavy duty C sharp shit. Ice Bear needs it for every so, hustling. Hiltzy, how dare you? Hiltzy, thank you for gifting the sub to Alka. Alka, enjoy all of your Ice Bear and Captain Hoppers and Loaf emotes. Loaf and Bean. I guess year I could just stick in here. Uh, can I break this up with how? How the hell do I break this up? Can I break this up with underscores? Mm, can you break them up with underscores? No, those are different. I don't know. I want. I don't want to escape it. I want to just. Oh, I'd have to use fucking. I'd have to use concatenation, wouldn't I? Uh, I don't want to concatenate. That's. That seems. But does it work? Son of a bitch, it does it does work. You son of a bitch, I'm in. <sighs> Fine. Well, I don't need date or year anymore. All right, date and year are gone. Yeah, okay. I mean, the minute part, I guess, could be... string... dot pad start to... Zero. I'll refresh this. So I don't need the minute part anymore. All right, there. That's pretty much fine. Hey, that's that's the thing. Oh, but hey, that works. That looks. I mean, that looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm gonna drop this down to like sixty. Seems dramatic. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little too. I don't know how legible that's gonna be. Face is legible. God, you son of a... I don't know. I can ledge it. Bet you can. 
you can ledge his dairy. No one messes with his dairy. That's that's a suicide mission. I I hear Cracko parked a forklift in his milk though. What honestly. in the <laughs> absolute fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you just go downstairs and you just see a bunch of frogs hop out your back door and there's a forklift through your fucking refrigerator. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even be surprised, honestly. At this point, I wouldn't even be surprised. Oh, I, I guess... Check your kid's Halloween candy. I found an entire forklift in a Snickers bar. <laughs> That's not terrible. That's like the back and forth. That's not bad. I opened mine and I, I got the forklift certification in mine. Alka, that's the most JavaScript fucking thing I've ever seen. And I hate it. <laughs> and I hate it because I know it fucking works. So did you see that thing that I put in uh Krakow's channel about how the flood are forklift certified. God, no. <laughs> no. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to refresh this page and so help me God. I what hate it. Back where it came from, or so help me. I, Alka, I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. It's so bad. It's so JavaScripty. Oh. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. What does the percent sign do in, in this scenario? So percent is a modulus. So it's. <clears throat> Whereas divide will give you like the quotient. So like, say like 12 divided 12 slash four would be three, right? Cause the slash is the divide symbol. In this mm -hmm. case, um, the modulus gives you, it doesn't give you the quotient. It gives you the remainder. So in this case, what it does is it gets the hour value, which the hours will be a range from zero to 23 right because zero is midnight 23 is 11 p.m this will divide by 12 and give you the remainder zero divided by 12 and 12 divided by 12 have a remainder of zero so what this does is this tells me you to give me the remainder or it <laughs> Because zero is a falsy value, no, it will give you God. the 12 if it's a zero. So, <laughs> so like 23 to 23 modulus 12 is, is 11 because it's one with a remainder of 11. So that's why this works is because it's JavaScript bullshit. And, <laughs> and again, we're done. and again, we're done. Again, like Alka's not wrong. It's just terrible and I hate it. And we're done. Oh, it's so bad. It's it is the Why most it is the most JavaScript. that's like that is JavaScript in a nutshell right there. That's JavaScript. I come from C sharp. So in C sharp, C sharp is a lot more lenient than it used to be, but in C sharp, you look at something like this and it's, it's not that far off, but it's like, eh, just like, Arr. in fairness, in JavaScript, we don't have types, nothing, nothing matters. Ah, where everything's made up and the types don't matter. You love JavaScript. God. I listen, I'm I'm all for chaos and shit, but I need some structure every once in a while and C sharp and TypeScript give me that. I love using the I program in Java meme. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a legitimate call for help. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
I guess I could do that at the beginning so that it like does it with the page load. Okay, that's fine. Um, so then that's not bad. Like it's it's fairly close. I want my line height to be a little smaller though. Yeah, I like that better. That's closer to what we have now. I like the time being a little bit smaller, honestly. Okay, you know what? That's that's great, and that's... <clears throat> loose and fast on the edge of out of control. Boy, howdy, you're not fucking kidding. Okay. That's good. Um, what do I want next? I want one more thing before we go. Let's come back to... No, not the countdown. I want the retro countdown because I added some stuff in here. Let's come down here. I want... No, that's the timer. Yep, I want all this. And we're going to put it in here. Yep. Yep. And then... Yeah, okay, that's good. I like that. Um, now I want... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. No, this is it. It's... it's we... I gotta go. I'm going to do this all goddamn night if I don't... If I don't leave now oh, thank goodness. You, i mean shut uh, shut the fuck up you you shut the fuck up no you i'm trying i'm working on it all right i'm working on it it's not bad it's not bad it's i will say this will end up replacing like if I get this to work, it will replace like four different things in OBS. So we'll, uh, I'm going to keep fucking with, I'll probably fuck with it tomorrow. Some more too. Um, Hey, thank y'all for hanging out tonight. Um, I am super excited about all the shit that I've got coming up. Um, between like live space updates for the channel, this thing that I'm working on now, this is my new thing. I might work on this on Monday. Maybe I'll do a daytime stream on Sunday. We'll see how Sunday goes. I know I won't be around Sunday evening, but we'll, you know, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Um, all right. I will see y'all most likely on Monday. If not, then definitely Tuesday evening for the normal evening stream. Um, once again, thank you to everyone. Thank you for the, the subs and, um, you know the excitement with the uh, big announcement for live space which i'm i'm super jazzed about and nervous about but we'll we'll make it work uh don't forget we have follower goal sub goal and we're f exactly 400 dollars away from our uh goal for trans lifeline we are we are over 90 percent of the way there and i just could not be more thrilled so thank you all so much um all right, let's get out of here. Who are we going to go see? Who's doing stuff? Who's doing it? Uh, man, there are several people doing... Holy shit, there are all kinds of people doing things tonight. Um, Let's go raid Kim. Let's go raid Kim. We're going to go raid Kim for the day. One of them, them crafty people. She's actually playing uh, Party Animals, so that should be a fun time to go watch. So let's go raid Kim, spam her with all the, uh, with the sub message, give her lots of love. She's fantastic. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we should, uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Okay. Uh, thank you all again. Hey, uh, please remember as always be good to yourselves, be good to each other. I will see you. Uh, I will see you sometime in the next few days, and then uh, 
that'll do it. Until then, uh, get out of my fucking house. Bye. Anus?